octopus. Nom, 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 nom. Who's at the door? Uh, hello? Hey, Junior. Oh, hey, Cody, what's up? Oh, nothing. You know, I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd stop by. Oh, well, okay, well, it's nice seeing you. I'll see you later. Wait, 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 Junior! Huh, that was really weird that Cody just came by. What do you want, Cody? Junior, let me in! Uh, oh, I, I didn't know you wanted to come in. Come in! So, Cody, what are you doing here? And what is this thing? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Junior. This is my greatest invention that I've ever created. What, a black sheet? No, Junior, it's what's under the black sheet. I'll just show you. Behold! c c cloning machine! c c c c c Cody's crazy cool cloning machine! c c c c c c c c Pat and pen. Whoa, Cody, a c c cloning machine? What's it do? It makes sandwiches, Junior. What? Makes sandwiches? That's lame. Junior, it's a cloning machine. It clones things. It clones things? Why would you make this? Well, you see, me and Ken here were looking for a caboose for the train that we were running, and I would have asked you, but you don't have the stamina to keep up with this locomotive. I mean, we are like a freight train. I mean, we just don't stop. There's no brakes. So I was going to clone Ken so he could be the meat in a hunk sandwich. I was going to be a below me sandwich, you know? No cheese. But uh, I've never tried the cloning machine before, and I didn't want to risk hurting Ken, so I need to try it on someone who's expendable. Oh, expendable? Wait, like, like Mrs. Incredible from The Incredibles? No, Junior, she's expandable. I, I mean, expendable, like someone I don't care about. Wait, you don't care about The Incredibles? It's a great movie. N no, Junior, I mean someone I don't care about, like, like you. Wait, you can make me expandable like the girl from The Incredibles? Y yeah, 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 sure, Junior. Like, 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 I'll be stretching everything? Sure, yeah, just, just get in the machine, Junior. Okay, I can, like, I'll be able to stretch like, like Elastigirl? I'll be like, stretch out my arms and stuff? Sure, yeah. Wait, wait, Cody, uh, when she gave birth uh, to her kids, like, she's stretchy, so, like, did it hurt? Like, or did they, like, just walk out? Well, yeah, that's a good question, Junior. But, uh, we'll, we'll talk about this later, okay? Just get in the machine. Okay, oh, I'm gonna be just like Elastigirl. Okay, <sighs> here you go, Junior. This might hurt a lot. Uh, oh, Cody, I don't feel so good. Uh, uh Junior? What? Look. Uh, Hi, guys! It's me, Junior! Wait, Thomas! Sure, baby! Oh, Cody, what's wrong with that thing? Uh, I don't know, Junior. He kind of looks like you, but he's really ugly. Uh, that's my clone? Yeah. Wait, wait, why does he look like some off-brand version of me you'd buy on Amazon? Uh, I don't know, Junior. I think the clone machine's a little rusty. It will get rid of him. I don't want him alive. Okay. Ugh. Wait, a Nerf gun? Oh, yeah. We can't use real guns anymore. But, I mean, let's be honest. This video's probably going to get screwed anyway. But uh -oh. whatever. Uh oh Move out of the way, Junior. I'm going to shoot him in the face. And trust me, I don't shoot blanks. Wait, you got rid of him, Cody? Yeah, I came to clone Ken, not deal with that ugly thing. Yeah, I'm glad you got rid of him. Yeah, let me just clean up. Ugh, get that out of there. Wait, so are you going to clone Ken, or do you, like, do you trust the machine enough? Uh, yeah, it's probably okay. Your clone was probably just messed up because it was the machine's first time, but, you know, my first time was pretty messy, too. All right, in you go, Ken. Remember, the safe word is cucumber. Ugh. I can't wait to see it. Cool, Cody! You cloned Ken! Uh, no. Wait, what's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong, Junior? Do you not see this wimpy little no-muscle pip squeak? Well, I, I mean, he looks kind of like Ken. Uh, no, he doesn't, Junior. Hunk punk. Well, I mean, I mean, Cody, I mean, he's kind of muscular. Uh, no, he's not, Junior. I could pick my teeth with this fool. Ken has more muscle in one bicep than this loser has in his entire body. Well, I mean, I guess Ken is more muscular. More muscular, Junior. I think you meant hunkier, and yeah, he is. Well, I mean, he doesn't look so bad. I mean, he has a little bit of muscle. Uh, no, he doesn't, Junior. Barbie has more muscle than he does. Wait, so you're not going to use him as your caboose? No, no, Junior. There are very strict criteria for being in my caboose, and he doesn't meet any of them. I was looking for a one-way ticket to Pound Town. Instead, I got a one-way ticket to Frown Town. Oh, well, what's wrong with your machine? It's getting everything off. Like, my clone kind of looked like me, and Ken's clone kind of looks like him, but it's not the same. Yeah, the clones are wrong. I don't know why. Well, I mean, maybe it needs, like, a third time to charm. Maybe we gotta clone one more thing. Well, who are we gonna clone? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, hey, Jeffy! What doing? Oh, uh, we're just cloning ourselves, and, uh, do you want to clone yourself in this machine? Sure! I don't got anything burned, though. Uh, okay! Alright, well, that was easy. Uh, Alright, Jeffy, get inside here. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, you in there good? Yeah. J Junior, his leg is sticking out of the machine. So? What, so the clone is going to be missing a leg. Oh, okay, I'll shove it in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. All right, let's get this thing started. Yeah. Like this, and that. Yeah. 
<sighs> uh, Jeffy? Look. Your clone is so ugly. Hey, fat boy, you don't leave my scooter alone. What, scooter? scooter? Who are you calling fat boy? You don't even have a scooter. Hey, fat boy, you want to fight? What, what? That's it, you're going to get it. What, what, uh, Junior, I, I think we should get out of here. It's getting heated. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, my name's Jeffy. What's your name? Hey, fat boy, my name's Scooter. Scooter? You want to go play toys? Hey, fat boy, you want to fight? No, I don't want to play toys. That's it. You're going to get it, fat boy. Hey, fat boy, you suck. Shut up, Scooter. You want to fight, fat boy? Hey, Scooter, I got a question. What? If your name is Scooter, why is your shirt saying Jeffy? Mom. Let's go get you a new shirt. Okay. And done. All right, Scooter, now your name's on your shirt so you won't forget who you are. Ah! Uh, I'm Scooter! All right, let's try to play Simon Chase again. Scooter? <sighs> Gonna sit down and watch TV. Hey, fat boy, you want to fight? Oh, hey, Scooter, there you are. Oh, Scooter, well, Jeffy, who's Scooter? Where did he come from? Oh, that's Scooter, and he came from a toaster, Dad. A, a toaster? Yeah. Jeffy, no, 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 no. I don't have time to play these games, Jeffy. Get rid of him. Get rid of I don't care where he came from. Get rid of him. He looks like you, so obviously you did something. So get rid of him, Jeffy. What am I supposed to do with him, Dad? Take him to a park. Go bury him somewhere. Throw him in the ocean, Jeffy. I want you to get rid of him. I adopted you. I didn't adopt him. Get rid of him, Jeffy. Oh, come on, Scooter. Oh, man, Scooter, this sucks. What's wrong, fat boy? My daddy doesn't like you, so you have to leave. Does that fat boy want to fight? Oh, Scooter, what are we going to do? Jeffy, you better have gotten rid of Scooter. Oh, Scooter, quick, get out of your bed. Ah! Jeffy, did you get rid of Scooter? Uh, yep, sure did, Daddy. Scooter's under the bed. Scooter, you big dummy, my daddy's right here. Hi, fat boy, you found me. <laughs> Jeffy, I told you to get rid of Scooter, not hide him under your bed. But daddy, he's my friend. Jeffy, I don't want you to be a friend with him. I don't know what you did, I don't know how you created him, but I want you to get rid of him. Look, you have five minutes to get rid of him. If you don't get rid of him in five minutes, I'm going to get rid of him, and you're not going to like it. Okay, daddy. I can't believe they found Scooter. Oh man, Scooter, you gotta leave. Where are we going? Well, I'm not going anywhere. You're the one that has to leave. Uh huh. Why Scooter gotta leave? Cause my dad doesn't like you, and he said you had to leave. So let's go, Scooter. Well, bye bye, Scooter. I'll see you later. I'm going to Walmart. Bye, Scooter. All right, Daddy. Scooter's gone. Wait, he's really gone? Yeah. Are you sure he's not under your bed? No, Daddy, he's gone. Good, I wanted him gone. Hey, fat boy, I got my scooter. What? Jeffy, I thought you said he was gone. He was gone, Daddy. I kicked him out and he left. Look, we, we don't want you here anymore. Leave. You want to fight, fat boy? No, I don't, I don't want to fight. Then push me in my scooter. No, you, you know what? I will push you. I'll push you somewhere. I'll push you somewhere. Ah! <laughs> Daddy, what did you do with Scooter? Uh, I pushed him in his scooter like he wanted. Oh, man, that was fun. I want to do that again. Hey, fat boy. Hey, fat boy, you want to fight? Nice shot, Junior. Yeah. All right, Crass, today you have a huge test tomorrow. So to get ready for your test tomorrow, you have to study today. Because today is yesterday's tomorrow, and tomorrow is yesterday's today. Any questions, Cross? Uh, so Cody, when's the test? I think it was yesterday, or tomorrow, I, I, I really don't know. So, Crass, if you failed a huge test tomorrow, then you failed a whole year, and you have to go all the way back to kindergarten, because that's how dumb you are. So make sure you study tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Go home, bye, Crass. Oh, okay, Junior, so we have a test tomorrow that we have to study for today. Okay, well, can you come over to my house and help me study? I really don't want to fail. <laughs> Ooh, okay, Junior, a little one-on-one, -on -one. I'm down. Can you guys help me study? I don't know what study means. All right, Jeffy, you want in on this action? All right, we can make it a threesome. All three of us studying. <laughs> Sounds hot. All right, so let's go to our house, and we can study. <sighs> All right, guys, are you ready to study? I guess. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, let's get started. That's a big book, Cody. Yeah, it is. I'll just pick a random page. Ugh. Okay, a painter will paint and walls with the same size and shape in a building using a specific brand. Boring! Jeff, you wanna watch TV? Sure, Junior. Let's watch some TV. Ugh. But guys, we're supposed to be studying. We wanna watch TV, Cody. We'll study after. <sighs> Do you like mini golf? Do you like free mini golf? I bet your parents do. So come on down from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. and mini golf for free. Tomorrow only during school hours. Oh my god, free mini golf from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. We gotta go. Heck yeah, Junior. Oh, we're definitely going. But guys, you can't go. We have school tomorrow. We have a huge test. Oh, I completely forgot we have school tomorrow. This sucks. You know what? I'm still going. But, but Junior, if you don't go, you'll fail. No, the teacher didn't say if we didn't show up, we'd fail. He just said we'd fail if we failed the test. So if I don't show up tomorrow, I'll just take the test another day. Wait, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Ooh, it's the teacher. Yellow. Hey, Cody. Sup, Teach? Are you with Jeffy and Junior? Yeah, why? Do you want me to be alone? No, I want you to tell them that if they decide not to show up to school tomorrow, then they're going to fail instantly. Oh, really? Okay, I'll let them know. Bye. All right, guys, the teacher says if you don't show up to school tomorrow, you'll fail instantly. What, what he said that? Yeah. Aw, Jeffy, we can't go mini-golfing tomorrow. Well, this blows huge loads. I know, it sure does. Well, you know what? I'm still going mini-golfing tomorrow. I don't care. But, but Junior, what are you going to do when the teacher sees you're not at school and he fails you? Well, I I'll just pay someone to go to school for me. But Junior, you can't pay anybody. You obviously don't have money because you want to go to free mini-golf. Well, well, I have $5 in my room. Wait, who are you going to hire with $5? Someone off the street. Okay, good luck finding somebody. Well, I, I am going to find someone. Just, just give me like five five minutes. Cody, 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 you won't believe this. I literally found my doppelganger on the street. He looks just like me. No, 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 no. Which one are you? kids is the birthday boy. I found this poor man trying to heat up his cereal with a lighter and a spoon. Junior, that's a homeless birthday clown. And? And he looks nothing like you. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. What color's my hair? Uh, orange. And what color's his hair? Well, orange? Boom. What, okay, what else? Uh, we're both black. What? Yeah, I took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 1% that inward. Well, okay, well, it's the 1% that doesn't show. I mean, you haven't seen me in the bathroom. <sighs> okay, Junior, this is a stupid plan. He doesn't look like you. He, we look exactly alike. We're twinning right now. No, you're not. Oh, look, he's gonna go to school for me, and it's gonna work. When do I get my five bucks? Oh, uh, hold on. Here it is. Uh, yep, it's real. I'll see you tomorrow, kid. Yeah, well, well that, you won't see me tomorrow. You're going to school with me tomorrow. Ugh, whatever. Okay, great. So who's going to take Jeffy's place? <gasps> I know who can take Jeffy's place. <laughs> okay, Cody, I have the perfect replacement for Jeffy. Hey, fat boy, my name's Scooter. No, Junior, not Scooter. What's wrong with Scooter? Everything is wrong with Scooter. There's nothing wrong with Scooter, fat boy. You want to fight? Junior, he looks nothing like Jeffy. Because we, I'm Scooter. What, okay, yeah, we know you're Scooter. We need you to be Jeffy. But I'm Scooter. Yeah, okay, we, 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 we get we, it. We, we get your Scooter. I, I like Scooter. Well, we, we, you we, don't even own a Scooter. Yes, I do. W where? On my shirt. What? Junior, this is, this is never going to work. Look, 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 he looks just like Jeffy, so the teacher's going to think he's Jeffy. Look, it's going to work, so let's find you a replacement. Well, I'm not going. What, you're not? No, I don't want to fail the test. But, but me and Jeffy are going. Well, and you've done a bad job of finding replacements, so I'm not going to risk failing. Well, can you at least watch Scooter and Screwball while, while we go mini-golfing tomorrow? I'll try, but I don't think it'll work. Okay, well, just make sure they do good in school and make sure they pass the test, okay? Okay. And my, my, my parents are going to be home tomorrow, so I can, you know, be out all day. No, no one's going to know. I'm, I'm skipping school, okay? So just watch Scooter and watch Screwball, all right? Fine. <sighs> <coughs> all right, Cross. I just found out that I got the coronavirus, but I decided to come to school today anyway because you guys still have to take your huge test today. So before we take the huge test today, I'm going to call roll and make sure you're here because if you're not here, you instantly fail the test because how are you going to take tests you're not here, okay? So let me go get my roll sheet. Oh, that can't be right. Mm. Hey, hey, Corey. It's, it's Cody. Yeah, whatever. Um, uh, how many balls are you supposed to have again? Two. On each side, or? No. Because mm. cause I'm feeling like a four-piece Happy Meal down there. Hey, fat boy, my name is Scooter. Great. No, no, no your name is Jeffy. But it says Scooter on my shirt. See? Well, yeah, I see that, but your name's supposed to be Jeffy today. But I like scooters. Well, that's great. Oh, oh, hey, Corey. Cody. Yeah, whatever. What's my name supposed to be again? It's Junior. Oh, Judy. Got it. Thanks, Corey. No, no, no. Not Judy, Junior. Oh, uh, Junior. I got it, Corey. Thanks. Cody. Uh, Cody? Cody or Junior? You confused me. Which one is it? My name is Cody. Your name is Junior. No, my name is Screwball. No, today your name is Junior. All right, Judy. I got it. I got it. <coughs> 
<clears throat> All right, Kras, I got the roll sheet. So when I call your name, say here if you hear, okay? All right, uh, Junior. Junior, are you here? Uh, Screwball. Hmm, what's up, Corey? He called for Junior. Who's that? But that's you. Mm -mm. Screwball. But no, we just went over this. You're supposed to be Junior. Oh, uh, but you were confusing me, Corey, so I thought you were handling it. But just say here. What's in it for me? Five bucks. We already paid you. Oh, well, I'll remember that. I slept under a bridge last night. Okay, fine. Here's five more dollars. Just say here. Oh, here? Right over here. Here. Me is here. Hmm. There's something different about you, Junior. Did you get a tan? Oh, it doesn't matter. You're here anyway. <laughs> Come to Papa. All right, Jeffy. Are you here? Jeffy? Ah! Scooter. Wake him up, fat boy. I'm pulling my ear. Yeah, I can see that, but he called for Jeffy. But my name is Scooter. I know, but I need you to be Jeffy. Ah! Scooter, Scooter, focus, focus. I just need you to say you're here. But that'd be lying. And Scooter doesn't lie. Well, okay, I just need you to lie this one time. No, no don't, don't pull your ear. Ah! Ah! Screw this. Screwball. Screwball, wake up. Uh, uh, here, here. I'm here. Is that what you want me to do, Corey? Yeah. yeah. Did I do it right? All right, Jeffy's here. Uh, Cody, are you here? Oh, um, hey, Cory, he said your name. Yeah, I know, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm here. All right, so Cody here. So basically everybody here. All right, Cross. now I'm gonna go around and pass out your huge test today. Your test today is that you have to write an essay explaining the color blue to a blind person. What? How are we supposed to do that? Has the person been blind their whole life or did they just like become blind? They've been blind their whole life. They never see colors. All right, I'm coming to pass out the test now. All right, Jeffy, <coughs> here your test. But my name's Scooter. What? Nothing, J just pass out the test, I'm ready. All right, here you go, Junior, here your test. Junior, sit up. Okay, uh, can I have my test now, please? Here you go, Cody. You. Junior, I said sit up! Uh, uh, teacher, what, what day is it? I, f I forgot. Today is today. Uh, oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Whew. All right, Crass. <coughs> All right, you have ten minutes to take your test. Go! Ten minutes? Not only do I have to take one test, I have to take three. What, Screwball, wake up! Oh, now uh, here, here. Uh, no, no, Screwball, we're past that. I need you to take this test. Oh, you need me to pee in a cup? I'm not gonna pass. No, no, Screwball, I need you to write on that piece of paper and explain the color blue to a blind person. Oh, I'm on it, Corey. I got it. I hope you do. All right, Scooter. Hey, fat boy! Yeah, I need you to write on that piece of paper and explain the color blue to a blind person. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope Junior and Jeffy are having fun. Jeffy, this is so cool that we're mini golfing for free! I know! Alright, I'm about to hit this golf ball. Alright, send it, Junior. Alright, I'm gonna get a hole in one. Oh, come on! Alright, Jeffy, your turn. Alright, All right, ball. I'm about to send you to the moon. Uh, so nice to go outside and get some fresh air. Bullseye! Uh oh, is he okay? Ugh. Mr. Mr. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Some idiot just nailed me in the head with a golf ball. Sorry, that was my friend Jeffy. Wait, why aren't you kids in school? Uh, uh, it's the weekend. No, it's not. Uh, uh, we're sick. Okay, then what are you doing playing golf? Uh, oh, we decided to skip school. Wait, Jeffy! Well, all right, that's it. I'm calling your parents. Nah, nah. Uh, run, Jeffy, run! We got a runner. Run, Jeffy, run! Go, 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 go inside, go inside! <laughs> all right, Jeffy, let's go upstairs, okay? Okay! Oh my god, Jeffy, what do we do? I don't know, Junior. Uh oh, the cop's in the door. Well, we could drop a bowling ball in his head. Wait, Jeffy, we can't hurt him. We, we gotta try to get him to go away because our parent can't find out we skipped school. Um, uh -huh. ooh, I'm gonna pretend to be my dad, okay? All right, Junior, where's the fake mustaches? Uh, hello? What do you want? I was busy in my room doing adult stuff, like taxes. Well, sir, did you know your kids were skipping school today? They what? Are you kidding me? They, they were skipping school? I, I can't believe what I just heard with my adult ears. I, I'm gonna give them the biggest punishment ever. Yeah, well, you should, because they hit me in the head with a golf ball. They what? Are you kidding me? A golf ball? Kids, get down here! Yes, Danny? Did you hit this nice police officer in the head with a golf ball? Yep. Well, you better say you're sorry. I'm sorry. That's right, you say he's sorry and he meant it. Well. So, you better go up to your room and do 30,000 push-ups. Yes, father. Sorry you had to see me be a parent, but I just can't believe what he did, skipping school like that. Yeah, well, that's okay. You have a good day. All uh, right, you too. Uh, at least he said he was sorry. Wait a minute. Where's the other kid? Jeffy, I can't believe he believed it! Yay! Wait, 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 wait. Who's that? I think it's the cop again. Oh no. Hold on, hold on. 
Uh, hello? What are you doing back here? I was fixing my vacuum cleaner. Well, I was just wondering where the other kid is. What? Other kid? Yeah, there were two kids earlier. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, that, that kid. Oh, he died. W really? Yeah, he, he just choked on a grape. What? On a grape? Two grapes. We, we were playing Chubby Bunny with grapes, and he ate too many, and he choked. Uh, oh, my God. I, sir, I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah, don't bring it up anymore. It, it really hurts my feelings, because it just happened like 30 seconds ago. Oh, oh, my God. Well, I'll leave you alone, then. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, don't ever come back here. <coughs> All right, class. Time's up. I'm going to come around and pick up your test. All right, Jeffy, you done with your test? My man, go. What? Yeah, yeah, he's done. It's blue. See? I see it, but the blind man not gonna see it. All right, Junior, you done with your test? Junior, sit up! Uh, yeah, 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 he's done too. My balls. Uh, uh, hey, 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 take my test. I want you to grade it. All right, Cody. <coughs> All right, Kraus, I'm gonna start grading your test. <coughs> That smells good! Hey, idiot! My name is Scooter! <laughs> no, it's not, it's idiot, because you're an idiot! My name is Scooter, see my shirt? Yeah, I see your shirt and it's stupid. That your pepper ball? Yeah. Come on, baby! Yay! Nothing but that! Hey, bro, why'd you do that to my paper ball? Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? Yeah, let's fight right now! Let's go, poo poo head! <laughs> what, what are you doing? You wanna fight, fat boy? <clears throat> That's it, you asked for it! Jeffy! No fighting! You gotta be suspended! Are you on fight, fat boy? Come here. Jeffy, I'm home. Are you here? Hey, fat boy, I got in trouble today. Well, Scooter, what are you doing here? I went to school today. You went to school? Yeah. What's this note say? Jeffy called a kid a poo poo head. Poo poo head. And then started fighting the student. Yeah. How did you get this note? I went to school today. What, did Jeffy go to school today? No. He didn't. Jeffy, get in here! Oh, oh, hey, Daddy. Jeffy, did you go to school today? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You skipped school with Junior and made me go with the clown. What, Jeffy, what is he talking about? I don't know, Daddy. He's lying. No, Scooter isn't a liar. Scooter doesn't lie. Well, okay, well, well, Scooter said he doesn't lie. So, Scooter, tell me exactly what happened. Jeffy skipped school with Junior and made me go with the clown. <laughs> Oh, that's right. So then, Jeffy, you're grounded if you skip school. So did you skip school? Yes, Daddy. That's it, Jeffy. You are grounded. You know you're not supposed to skip school. So you're grounded, and I'm going to go call Junior's dad and tell him that his kids skip school, too. So he's grounded, too. Okay, so you're both going to be grounded. Oh. And Scooter, for telling the truth, you can have this back. Ah! My Scooter! Yeah, so get inside so I can push you down the stairs. All right. Ah! Jeffy, can you answer the door? I don't have to, I don't have to, I know, I know, I know, I know, I don't have to, I don't have to, I know, I know, I know, I know. Jeffy, answer the door! I don't have to. Jeffy, you did that. Ow! Okay, Daddy, okay! Go answer the door. <sighs> Hello? Hey, fat boy, I got a scooter. You got a scooter? Yeah, scooter got a scooter. And I can do a trick. Come watch me. Okay. Hey there, fat boy, scooter made a ramp. You made a ramp? Yep, the scooter's gonna go to the moon. You ain't going to the moon? Sure am, watch this. Scooter, are you okay? Scooter's okay. I went to the moon. You went to the moon? Yep. I'm gonna go to Uranus next. Oh, cool. Can I try? No. Nope. This is Scooter Scooter. Not Jeffy Scooter. Go away. Aww. I wonder what's taking Jeffy so long to answer the door. I don't know. Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? Daddy, I'm glad you asked because I actually want something. Well, what do you want? Can you buy me a scooter so I can go to the moon? A scooter won't take you to the moon, Jeffy. Yes, it will, Daddy. I've seen it happen. Well, how about you wait for your birthday to get the scooter? My birthday's like forever away, Daddy. Your birthday's only like three months away. And I don't know if we'll be alive that long, you know, because of the... <coughs> That's true, Mario. Life's so unpredictable. She's right, Daddy. She's spitting straight facts. That was a TBH, not even a JK. So where's my scooter? Jeffy, what makes you think you deserve a scooter today? Um, well, I haven't pooped my pants in over 30 minutes. <gasps> That's a new record, Mario! <laughs> <sighs> yep, 31 minutes, Daddy. That's a new record. Well, you're not getting a scooter, Jeffy. Wah! Wah! Cry! 
Wah! Boo hoo! Wah! Cry, cry, wah! Cry, cry, wah! Boo hoo! Wah! Wah! Jerry, stop it! Jeffy, stop it! I then have to. <sighs> Jeffy, can you go answer the door? I then have to. Jeffy, go answer the door! Ow! Okay! <sighs> He's so annoying, baby. Hello? Hey, fat boy, you wanna see me do another trick? Sure! Let me on your roof. Okay. Look at me. Scooter's about to go off the roof. But what if you get hurt, Scooter? I can't get hurt. I'm invincible. Watch me go. Whee! <laughs> Scooter, are you okay? Scooter, Scooter, are you okay? Scooter? What am I gonna do? Wait a minute. If Scooter's knocked out, he's not going to notice his Scooter's missing. And then I can go to the moon. Now I'm going to go to the moon. Whee! Ow, I didn't go in the moon. I'm gonna try again. Oh, oh, oh no, the scooter, it's broken. Oh, what am I gonna tell Scooter about his scooter? Daddy! Uh, uh, man, that was fun. Scooter's gonna do that again. Hey, where'd my scooter go? Hey, fat boy, where's my scooter at? Ah! Uh! Mommy, Daddy, I need your help! What's wrong, Jeffy? Well, I can take a guess. He broke someone's scooter because he doesn't have a scooter. Bingo! Jeffy, what happened? Well, Daddy, I borrowed this kid's scooter and I broke it. Jeffy, accidents happen all the time. If you're honest with the kid, maybe he'll understand. Well, you see, here's the thing, Mommy. I borrowed it without asking. But that's called stealing, Jeffy! There's a word for it? That's it, Jeffy. We taught you not to steal. It's spanking time. Mario, what? no! Oh! Oh, see, Poppy! You can't on my Poppy! Ah. Uh, uh, Alright, Jeffy, I'm not gonna spank you if you're gonna make that noise. And that's how you get out of spanking. Mario, it's nothing that a little tape can't fix. Tape? You think tape can fix metal? Mario, that's what tape does. It sticks things back together. Tape cannot fix a broken scooter. I'll be right back. <sighs> yeah. All right, Jeffy, just, just tell me, who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. Uh, yes, it, it's a scooter, but who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. Jeffy, I understand you stole a scooter, but who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. Jeffy, stop saying that. Who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. All right, Jeffy, my name is what? Mario. And what's your name? Jeffy. And who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. Jeffy, say anything but scooter. Anything but scooter. Jeffy, who did you steal the scooter from? Scooter. Jeffy. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, Jeffy, okay, well, hide the scooter so he doesn't see it. All right, Daddy. Oh, no. Where's my hat? Hey, you fat boy see my scooter? Uh, your scooter? Uh, no. Are you sure? Because if I find out that fat boy took my scooter, we're going to fight. Well, Come here! No, 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 he didn't take your scooter, so, so just leave. Okay. All right, Jeffy, this is not so bad. So look, he already thinks we didn't do it, so let's just throw it away and he'll never see it again. Okay. Mario, I got the tape! Baby, I told you tape will not fix this! Mario, I'm just trying to help! Okay, okay, fine. Look, tr try to put it back together with your stupid tape. Okay! All right, Mario, all done! Good as new! Looks good to me. Baby! What, Mario? That looks crappy! Look, it's all covered in tape and the wheel doesn't even move! It's not even rideable and it's all bent! Mario, I was just trying to help! Bim, 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 what are you doing? Gang, if this was a motorcycle, that's what it would sound like. Bim, 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 Hold on, Jeffy, there's someone at the door. Uh, hello? Hey there. Uh, Richard, what are you doing here? Is your dad here? No, and you don't want him to be here, because if he was here, it wouldn't be pretty. W well, what's wrong, Richard? What are you doing here? Someone stole my scooter. <laughs> Someone stole your scooter? Yeah, I left it outside, and when I came back, it was gone. And here I thought I lived in a nice neighborhood, but I don't live in a nice neighborhood. I actually live in a very poor neighborhood with people who like to steal scooters. Well, I, I can't believe somebody would steal your scooter. Well, may, maybe the person was just borrowing it. Without asking? That's called stealing. That, that is called stealing. Maybe, 
Maybe, maybe I, I don't know, but, but the scooter's not here, so I'm sorry to hear about that. I'll, I'll talk to you later. No, I'm coming inside because I'm going to ask Jeffy if he stole my scooter. Jeffy would not steal your scooter. He'd probably borrow it, but definitely not steal it, so it's just not here. Well, then I'm going to ask him for myself. Well, no, 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 you're not allowed to come inside the house. Okay, well, then I'll call my dad. I'm sure he would love to come here so he can get your house painted. Uh, no, 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 that's not necessary. Uh, look, look, look. You, you don't want me to call my dad because if I have to call my dad, that would be me interrupting a very fancy meal. He's having a pan-seared Oscar Mayer wiener with pasteurized tomato sauce and also some gray poupon. And if you don't let me in your house, I'm gonna poupon your front doormat. Uh, okay, C come inside, but, but your scooter's not here. That's what I thought. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh, see, your scooter's not here. Hmm, what's behind the pillow? The couch. I think you should move the pillow. Uh, no, no, uh, see I have back problems and the pillow is in a very comfortable position and if we move the pillow, it just, it just won't feel the same. I really think you should move the pillow. Uh, no, the, your scooter's not here. I think I should just take a nap real quick and I'll see you later. Uh, uh, that, that's not your scooter. Really? Because it looks just like my scooter. No, it's someone else's. Oh, oh look, and you even wrapped it for me for Christmas. I didn't know I wanted that. Oh wait, I did. Because it's my scooter. No, I run a scooter repair shop, and I was just repairing someone's scooter, you see? Well, you're doing a very terrible job. Uh, thank you. Well, see, look, uh, your scooter's not here, so you can leave. Well, I'm gonna call my dad, because you stole and then broke my scooter. Please don't call your dad. Uh, look, I will buy you a new scooter. Oh, you'll buy me a new one? Uh, oh, cool. That Because that scooter right there costs $30,000. Okay, scooter does not cost that much. Oh, this one did, because it was made out of pure sapphire and spaceship parts from the Apollo 13. Why would you need that? Because I can. Oh, okay, okay, okay look, I will, I will get you the exact same scooter. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, similar to it. No, I don't want similar. I want that one. $30,000. Oh, okay, well, just stay right here, and I will go get you a brand new scooter, okay? Just don't, don't call your dad. Okay, cool. All right, here's your new scooter. Ew, it's pink. Yeah, but it's a new scooter. I wanted a blue scooter. Well, it's 2020, and this pink scooter identifies as a blue scooter. Well, I want a blue scooter that identifies as a blue scooter, and it's actually blue because I want a blue scooter! Well, well, can't you just be grateful? No! My dad's rich, so I don't have to be grateful for something poor. I want it to be blue, like my old one! Okay, okay, I'm trying to think of where I can get you a blue scooter. Um, a blue scooter? I got an idea. Okay, uh, I, I know where to get a blue scooter. Just stay right here. All right, I'm back. Where's my blue scooter? Well, I don't have a scooter. Because if you don't have it, I'm going to tell my dad. Well, no, no, I have a scooter, but it's not a scooter, but it's scooter. Look, here's scooter. Hey, fat boy, my name's Scooter. Who is this, and why is he calling me fat? My name's Scooter, fat boy. You want to fight? Why is it trying to hit me? Well, it's a blue scooter. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Say so on my shirt. Just because it says scooter on your shirt does not make you a scooter. Yes, it does. My name is Scooter. Well, look, 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 you wanted a blue scooter. His name's Scooter, and he's wearing a blue shirt, so blue scooter. Okay, well, how am I supposed to ride it? Where are its handles? Well, it, it, its handles are right here. Ah! Do it again. Ah! Oh, cool, I want it. Come on, Scooter. Ah! All right, Jeffy, it's time for you to do your chores. Jeffy, go do your chores. You have to take out the trash and do the dishes. Jeffy, what are you doing? You've reached a voicemail of Jeffy. Please leave a message after the... Mm, mm. Jeffy, it's time for you to do your chores, so go do your chores right now. For English, press 1. For Spanish, press 2. Jeffy, I'm not playing this game. <sighs> you chose Spanish. No, I chose English. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las huertas. Stop speaking Spanish, Jeffy. Si papi, si papi, si papi, yo quiero más papi. <laughs> okay, fine. <sighs> Who's at the door? Uh, hello? Hey, fat boy, Scooter needs some money. Scooter needs some money? Yep, Scooter's gonna buy a new scooter. All right, well, good luck with that. But hey, fat boy, I need some money. Well, then go work for your money. Well, for $20, I'll eat your grass. You'll eat my grass? Yep, and for $21, I'll take the GR away. You'll take the GR away? Yep, and grass. Okay, well, look, I don't need you to eat my grass. That thing back there eats my grass. That thing ate your grass? Yes. Owie. Yeah, well look, how about you just go get a different job and go get go make some money. But where am I supposed to work? Go be a rapper. Like, in the North Pole? Yeah, yeah, yeah go, go go rap presents at the North Pole, yeah, with Santa Claus. Okay. 
<sighs> Jeffy, did you do your chores? Uh, nope. Uh, go do them. Uh, I don't have to. Uh, you do have to. Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, uh. Jerry, just don't do it. Daddy, I came to the conclusion after thinking for a while that you can't tell me what to do. Well, yes, I can tell you what to do. Why? Because I'm your dad. Why? Because I adopted you. Why? I ask myself that question every day. Why did I adopt you? Hey, fat boy, they're gonna make dinner now. What? How'd you get in my house? But he wasn't hiring. Well, Can I have some money? Well, no, you can't have any money. But I'll pay you back. How are you going to pay me back if you don't have money? I'll eat your grass for $20. I don't need you to eat my grass. But you can take the G. Uh, no, 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 no. Take it away the letters. Just leave, please. But what am I supposed to do? Go go be a rapper. Like on the candy? No, no like go sing a song. Get another song. <sighs> sing it. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. I don't know the rest of this song. Oh, okay, that was good. Now go to Hollywood and sing it. Okay. Yeah, that, that's how you make your money. That was fire, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, go do your chores. I don't want to do it. Go on. Ow, okay. Ow, Come on, Jeffy. You gotta do this. Ow, 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 ow. Jeffy, you have to do the dishes and take out the trash. All right, Daddy. Well, why don't you go ahead and get in the trash can? Because you're trash. Jeffy, just face. Do the dishes, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. And just make them go away. And just I don't want to see them in the sink when I get back. Can do, Daddy. Well, this little plate went to the market. And this little piggy had roast beef. And this little plate went wee, wee, wee all the way home. And this little plate just hit the floor really hard. And this little plate, screw it. <sighs> hey, Daddy, I'm done with my chores. Jeffy, there's no way you're done with your chores already. Yes, there is, because I'm just that mf and good. What's that, my pets? What, Scooter? My name ain't Scooter no more. It's S.C. Ooter. S.C. Ooter? Yep, and you put that in your pooter. What, what, you became a rapper now? Sure did, and I made some money. You made some money? See? You made $100? And that ain't even from rapping. That's from eating grass. E eating grass? Yep, see how much it is? I definitely took away the GR. Uh, well, did you make a song? I sure did. It's on YouTube. I'm gonna grab my phone so we can watch it. All right, I got my phone. Do see? I got my phone. Let's watch Scooter's music video. Yo, yo, yo. Here comes Scooter. Don't worry. I'm on my way. Hey, fat boy. You want to fight? Yeah. You want to fight? Okay. You want to fight? What? Hey, fat boy. You want to fight? All right. You want to fight? That's right. You want to fight? Good night. Hey, fat boy. You want to fight? Come out. You want to fight? Let's go. You want to fight? You're fat. Hey, fat boy. My name is Scooter. It is. Look at my shirt. Look at it. It says Scooter. It does. I ride my Scooter. I do. Down the street. Look my face. I can't be beat. First place. So take a seat. Sit down. I go to Walmart. Hollywood. In my shopping cart. Buggy. I hold in my fart. Hey, you. Eat my pop tart. They're yummy. I'll make you cry. Mm -hmm. Punch you in the eye. Ouch. Fart on your face and give you pink eye. Hey, fat boy, you want to fight? Yeah. You want to fight? Okay. You want to fight? What? Hey, fat boy, you want to fight? All right. You want to fight? That's right. You want to fight? Good night. Hey, fat boy, you want to fight? Come out. You want to fight? Let's go. You want to fight? You're fat. Man, oh man, was that a hot beat? It's getting hot here. The crew's going to take him clothes off. That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. But the women like it. They take their poop makers in my face. P.U. Daddy, that song was straight fire. Well, he'll never make any money from it. But I made $10,000 already. You already made $10,000? Yeah, I put in my 401k. I get an 8% return a year annually, 365 days. I'll be a millionaire by the time I take 65. No old folks on for scooter. <sighs> Hold on, let me answer the door. Uh, hello? Hey Mario, guess what day it is? Oh no, what? It's your time of the month. I hate my time of the month. Yeah, women say that all the time, but it's give me your house payment day. Well, I don't have my house payment this month. Mm-mm-mm. Wait, is that a light bulb? Yeah, because I thought it would be a bright idea for you to pay your house payment. Well, I don't have it this month. Mm, I was afraid you were gonna say that, so I did this. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, I drew you on a light bulb, and if you don't pay your house payment, this is gonna be you. So pay your house payment by the end of the night, or that's gonna be you, Mario. Uh, Have a good night. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh man, I gotta pay Goodman by tonight. Where am I gonna get the money? Uh, uh, Scooter! Uh, that's not my name! Uh, SC Ooter! Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? No, Scooter. I was wondering if. Oh, this is gonna sound so weird. I was wondering if I can borrow some money.
Well, well, well. Look where the cat dug in. I know, I know. You asked me for money and I said no and now I'm asking you for money. Well, well, well. Look at the shoes on my feet. What, no, you mean the shoes on the other foot? No, look, I got shoes on both my feet. And if the shoe fits, I will. Okay, look, I just want to borrow some money to pay my house payment. I promise I'll pay you back. Well, well, well. Have the tie tie turn. Look, I, I know, I know. You asked me for money and now I'm asking you for money, but I promise I'll pay you back. Well, well, well. Doesn't this sound familiar? Yeah, I know, because you said you'd pay me back, and now I'm saying I'll pay you back. Look, I just really need to borrow some money. Well, well, well. Deja vu. I know, because I'm saying exactly what you said, and I didn't let you borrow money, and now you're saying that to me. Well, well, well. You sound like a broken record. I know, because I'm begging for money, and look, all I want to do is borrow some money, please. Well, well, well. You're barking up the wrong tree. Look, can I borrow some money or not? Well, well, well. You got a taste of your own medicine. I did. I got a taste of my own medicine. So can I please borrow some money? I promise I'll pay you back. Well, well, well. You don't know which way the wind's blowing. What? Well, well, well. The grass ain't greener on the other side. No, oh, you know what? You can just leave. Look, I'm not going to borrow money. Just leave. Well, well, well. <sighs> How am I going to get the money now? One day, I'm going to give you the money. What, you have the money, Jeffy? Sure I do, Daddy. I got all them merch shells. Beep. Wait, Jeffy, you'd really give me the money for my house payment? Sure, Daddy. But I want you to rap and ask me for the money. What, rap and ask you for it? Jeffy, I can't rap. Sure you can, Daddy. Drop that sick beat. Yo, yo, yo. It's me, Mario. About to ask Jeffy a question. Hey, Jeffy. What? Can I borrow some money? No. Can I borrow some money? No. Can I borrow some money? No. Hey, Jeffy. What? Can I borrow some money? No. Can I borrow some money? No. Can I borrow some money? No. Please, Jeffy. Can I borrow some money? No. I just need some money. No. Can I have some money? No. How was that? Um, I'll give you 50 bucks for that song, Daddy. Well, 50 bucks? I mean... I mean, I need more than this, but I mean, it's a good start. Jeffy, how can I get more of the money? Um, well, if you do whatever I say for the rest of the... Oh, wait, hold on. How much longer does this video need to be? Like, two more minutes? So if you do whatever I say for the next two minutes, then I'll give you the rest of the money, Daddy. Okay, okay, well, what, what do you want? Um, give me a horn. A, a horn? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, uh, all right. All right, Jeffy, I got you your horn. <laughs> Daddy, not that type of horn. Actually, wait a minute, let me see it. Jeffy, stop doing that! Jeffy, stop it! <laughs> what kind of horn do you want, Jeffy? A unicorn horn! How am I supposed to get a unicorn horn? Well, go find a unicorn and take his horn! <sighs> Alright, Jeffy, I found your unicorn horn. <laughs> are you happy now? <laughs> Jeffy, talk to me, are you happy with your horn? <laughs> Jeffy, are you happy with your horn or not? <laughs> Jeffy, can I get the money now? <laughs> Actually, Dave, I want a squishy snake now. Where do I get a squishy snake at, Jeffy? Oh, I'm no. I'll go try to find you one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeffy, I got your squishy snake. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dave. Oh, stop trying to hit me with it. Oh, stop it, Jeffy. Stop. Ow. Stop it, Jeffy. Stop. It. Can I have the money now, Jeffy? Oh, right, Danny, there's one more thing I need you to do. Hey, what? Follow me. Ow! All right, Daddy, the only thing I need you to do now is clean up the mess I made from when I washed the dishes. Well, what, what mess did you make? <gasps> Jimmy! Why'd you do that, Jimmy? How'd you even do that? Get to sweeping, Daddy. Jimmy, I'm not going to clean up your mess. Oh, well, then you don't want the money, then? Well, I, I, I do need the money, but you can't tell me what to do. Oh, well, then get to sweeping if you want the money, Daddy. <sighs> <laughs> I finally cleaned up your mess, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. And here's the rest of the money. I have the money to pay my house payment now. Yep, just don't ever make me do chores ever again. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to ask you to do chores because you don't know how to do them, right? You just make a big mess. Yep. So what do we do now? Drop that sick beat. <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. Mario, he's having fun. Calm down. He's not hurting anyone. He's being annoying. Jeffy, stop it. I didn't have to. Jeffy, I, I bet you can't, you know, not beat your diaper for 30 seconds. I'll give you a dollar. All right, bet. Yeah, 30 seconds without doing it. <laughs> I guess I do have to. Jeffy! Hold on, let me see who's at the door. 
Uh, hello? Hey there, Mario. Oh, Goodman, I don't have my house payment this month. Well, don't worry, Mario. I'm not here to take your money. I'm here to give you money. What? You give me money? I know. Sounds crazy, right? You're probably thinking, where did I bump my head with all this crazy talk? Uh, yeah. But anyway, Mario, my CPA said that I have to give away $1 million to charity. Well, you're giving me a $1 million? No, Mario. Hold on. Let me finish. He said that I had to give my money away to charity or else I'd have to give it to the IRS. So I don't want to give it to the IRS. So I'm putting together a little charity baseball game. And I was wondering if you wanted to be a part of the adult team. It's going to be kids versus adults. Well, yeah, I would love to be a part of it. If I get a part of a million dollars, I'll do it. Okay. Well, grab your glove and be down on the field in 20 minutes, okay? Uh, all right. I'll right, see you then. Baby, guess what? I'm going to be a millionaire. Mario, are you feeling okay? Yes, I'm feeling okay. Goodman's giving a million dollars to a charity baseball game, and all I have to do is beat a bunch of little kids in baseball. Well, that doesn't sound very fair, Mario. It is fair. Adults versus kids, and kids are have more energy and because they eat all that sugar and candy. And, and look, look, all I have to do is beat a bunch of little kids in baseball, and I win a million dollars. Hey, Dan, can I play? Well, I mean, I guess you can join the little kids team, but look, I have to go win a million dollars. So turn on the TV, baby. Watch me be a star. Okay, Mario, good luck. Hello and welcome to the first ever I'm giving someone $1 million so I can use it as a tax write-off competition. It's going to be kids versus adults, so I'm expecting it to be a blowout. All right, guy. All you got to do is strike out this little kid. I mean, it can't be that hard. He's a little kid. He sucks at baseball. Now me, I could have gone pro if it wasn't for my carpal tunnel. Hi, Boydie. Do you need any help? What? No, Karen, what are you doing up here? You're supposed to be in the outfield. Aw, the outfield's so boring, Boydie. But yeah, I know it's boring, Karen. It's baseball. It's supposed to be boring. Hey, Boydie, why am I wearing an oven mitt? I'm not baking cookies. Wait, it's not an oven mitt, Karen. It's a catches mitt for catching balls. Oh, so you want to fool around? But no, Karen, there are kids around. I, I just want to play baseball. Go away. But Boydie, it's so boring in the outfield. I know, Karen. That's the point. Just, just go. Get out of here. But what am I supposed to do out there? Just, just stand over there and catch whatever comes your way. But what if I catch the flu? I, at this point, I don't care. That'd be fine. Just go. Okay, Boydie. All right, kid. You ready to get struck out? Oh yeah, dude. I'm ready to hit it. I'm gonna hit it out of the park. Here, donkey, 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 swing. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna fall for that. Here, donkey, 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 donkey. All right, I'm gonna give him the super duper ultra fast mega fast speedy sonic boom fastball fast and my glove changed hands but no one's gonna notice ah here donkey 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 swing what, what? somebody please catch it mm, nice grass <sighs> that's an out that that's an out he caught it in his mouth but that still counts that's an out that is one out yes man i'm such a good pitcher i should have gone pro man oh man that doesn't count he was supposed to catch it with his glove you're out of there donkey Oh man, I'm ready to hit a home run. Here, donkey, 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 donkey. Uh. Here, donkey, 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 swing. Oh, someone get it, someone get it, someone get it. Boydie, the ball's coming at me. What do I do? Grab it. What do I do now, Boydie? Throw it to first base. Oh, uh, which one's first base? It's the first one. Where? It's over there. Just throw it at first base. That's really far, Boydie. I yeah, just throw it, Karen. Are you taking me to Olive Garden later? Yes, just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> but I could have kept running, couldn't I? Yeah. Oh, thank God he's an idiot and didn't keep running. He could have had an inside the park home run. Whew. All right, who wants it next? Oh, God, it's so heavy. Easy out. Joseph, I'm on your team. You're supposed to encourage me. Easy out. Easy out. Well, they're all easy outs because I'm a really good pitcher. All right, I'll just make this a simple pitch. All right, Cody, you can hit it. Sorry, that was my bad. I, I just wanted to give him an easy base because I know we're going to win by so much. <laughs> what happens now? You get to go to second base because he got hit with the ball. Oh, sweet. All right. <laughs> I'm ready to hit. Oh, come on. This is too easy. I mean, I, I, I'm going to strike him out. I mean, because, I mean, you know, just, just look at him. He's uh, all right. All right. I might as well get this over with. <clears throat> oh, my God. He crushed it. Somebody please catch that. I got it. I got it. I, I, I don't got it. No, oh, that, that was, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I was going easy on him. It's, it's no big deal. I mean, how many points is that? Like three? We're going to get like 70. That's nothing. That's nothing. Doesn't matter. Here comes Gunner. I'm going to hit the ball. Talk to me, fat boy. All right, everyone. Easy. Easy out right here. I'm going to throw him a curveball. Uh. Ow. Ow. Uh. Ow, oh, my face. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. He's not running. He's not running. Catch it. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it. Yeah! Uh, somebody left their 
toy on the plate. No, he's hitting. Oh, he's a doll, dude. He's the best player we have. Uh, easy out. Okay, that, that's just a doll. I can strike out a doll. All right, here we go. <clears throat> strike one. <laughs> he can't hit it, dude. Yes, he can, Joseph. Strike two. <laughs> Come on, can't hit it. Strike three. Oh. You're out of there. Yes, that's three outs. Three outs. All right. All right. It's our turn, and I'm first at bat. All right. Jeffy's going to win your baseball game. All right. I'm about to crush it. My name's Gator. Uh, yeah, that's great. Okay. Let's play. Bring the bat, fat boy. Yeah, I got it. Jeffy's going to throw it really hard. Yeah. Yeah. That's track one. Yeah, I know. You're distracting me. My name's Cooter, fat boy. Yeah, I, I know that. Uh, okay, you know what? Halftime. Well, let's take let's take halftime. All right, they just called an unexpected halftime, and the kids are up three to zero. So if the adults can score four points, they'll win. All right, huddle up. We need to have a team meeting. All right, do you have any idea who's beating us out there? Good or dead, I'm beating you. What, what are you doing in here? You're not supposed to be here. This isn't your locker room. But my name is Gator. Yeah, I know. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here right now. Okay, look, guys. We have to do better. The score is three to zero. We are losing pretty bad. All we have to do is score four more points. Yeah, because then we'll win by one point. Y yeah. You Thank you, Captain Obvious. O okay, look. I think we should wait until nighttime because I can't even see the ball out there in the sunlight. They, they have an advantage with their young eyes. All right. Now that it's dark, we're going to start the game back up. And remember, the kids are up three to zero. Hey, where'd the sun go? Oh, there they are. There's just a bunch of them. All right, who's ready for baseball? All right, now that we had halftime and it's dark outside, I can see better. The other team was trying to cheat playing in the daytime like that. Come on, fat boy, let's hit the ball. I'm going to. Oh, oh, and since we had halftime, my first strike doesn't count. All right, let's do this. I'm about to give you a hard ball. <laughs> Strike one. You're out of here. N no, I get two more tries. Strike two. Take the three. You messed me up. All right, I'm going to hit it. Strike three. You're out of here, fat boy. You know what? Oh. Uh, come on. It wasn't ready. Uh, All right, I get one more chance. Uh. Look what I did. What a hit. It's coming right towards out me. Out of my way, kid. Uh, hey, you pushed me. Sucker. That's how I get it! Ken, catch! Get him out! Cody, why is Ken on second base? Joseph, get it! I got it, dude. Stupid Cody. I got it! I got it! What? You're out, fat boy. Ow, no, I'm not. I scored. Not my house. Okay, look. This is how you win against kids. It's three to one now. All right, Jeffy. I'm about to hit it out of the park. But my name's Gator. I was talking to Jeffy, who's pitching. Let's swing it, fat boy. All right. I got it! I got it! Oh, you're out! <laughs> oh, man, I got an out. Mario, what are you doing? These are children. We need to win. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, my turn. Baby, baby, please hit it. I know how to play soccer, boy day. <sighs> We're not playing soccer. We're playing baseball. All right. I'm about to fart. <clears throat> Stop going, you're out of here. Baby, just hit the ball. Pee pee. Stop there, go home. If you don't hit this next one, I want a divorce. <laughs> Ow. Oh, boy, I'm so sorry, boy. No, no, that's it, that's it. I want a divorce. Oh, boy, no. But, boy, I love you. Strike there, you lose. Oh, man, I'm gonna knock this out of the park. Go, baby, go. Quiet, woman, I'm trying to swing. I thought we were gonna do that at the neighbor's house. <laughs> swing, fat boy, swing. Yes, 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 yes! I got it, dude, I got it, dude! Aw, home run! Good hit, honey. Go home and make me some dinner, woman. Okay. <laughs> I got a stick. Hey, Santa Claus, let me tell you what I want for Christmas. Scooter, what's a scooter? <laughs> Pencil man. <laughs> yeah, beep, 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 beep. <clears throat> Strike one, Santa Claus. <laughs> Come on, who let the homeless guy play? <laughs> Strike two, Santa Claus, go back to the North Pole. If he strikes out, I'm gonna cry. You want another hard ball? <laughs> oh my God, that's a home run, we're gonna win. I got it, dude, I got it, dude. Oh, we won! <laughs> we won, we won! Yeah, yeah, we did it. Kiss me, Junior. Oh, no, no, we won. Yeah. We lost, we, we actually lost to a bunch of kids. It's okay, Boiny. Are we still going to Olive Garden? No, no, we're not still going to Olive Garden. Olive Garden is canceled because we didn't win the million dollars. 
Wow, what a shocking ending. The kids win it, three to two. So now the kids win one million dollars. Congratulations to them. Mario, it's okay. I lost a million dollars. I know, Mario, but you're still my all-star. <laughs> What's up, Danny? Yeah, the Eddie. What's up, Greg? Jeffy, what'd you do with your million dollars? Oh, Dad, I gave my half to charity. You what? Oh, Jeffy, that's so sweet. Yep, and the name on the charity is Jeffy's Bank Account. So, Joseph, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. Oh, I just want to eat a bunch of candy. Ooh, what kind of candy do you want? Um, how about Reese's? Ooh, I love Reese's. I think I have some right here. <laughs> Wait, why is it white, though? What are you talking about? It's white Reese's. It's usually brown. That's Reese's. Wait, that's not Reese's. It's just Reese's. Look, it, it doesn't matter what color it is. It still tastes good. Oh. Oh no, they made it white and they put it in a big package. Well look, Joseph, you know anything that's white isn't big. Uh, that is true. <laughs> yeah, so it's not Reese's, it's just Reese's. So let's just eat it, okay? Okay. Let's open up the door. Here, you open them up and I'll, I'll go to the door. All right. Uh, hello? Hey, fat boy, my name's Scooter. I know who you are. It's my birthday. Oh, it's your birthday? Well, happy birthday! Well, let's throw me a party. Let's throw you a party? Uh, okay, yeah, sure, come inside. Hey, Joseph, guess what? What, you got the brown Reese's? What? No, it's Scooter's birthday. Hey, fat boy, it's my birthday. And I was thinking we could throw him a party, and we could throw him a party at Chuck E. Cheese. Whoa, dude, that would be epic. I love Chuck E. Cheese. I know everybody loves Chuck E. Cheese, so hold on, don't get too excited. I have to turn on the news so something inconvenient can happen. Oh, okay. Breaking news, okay? Chuck E. Cheese has gone bankrupt. After 43 years, Charles Entertainment Cheese has blown his fortune away. Sucks for them. Oh my god, they're bankrupt? Dude, how could this happen? I don't know what that means. Oh, it means that they're bankrupt. Like a volcano? Oh, no, not erupt, like bankrupt. The bank gonna blow up? What? No. The money's gonna be flying everywhere. Cha ching. Well, no, no. It means that the Chuck E. Cheese ran out of money. Joseph, how could that happen? I don't know, dude. Maybe Chuck E. spent all his money on cheese. Oh, addiction is a disease. <laughs> Rats love their cheese. I know. First, Toys R Us went out of business. Now, Chuck E. Cheese is gonna go out of business. Like, the whole world's gonna have nothing fun to do. Like, we're gonna have to start hanging out at Walmart. <gasps> I like Walmart. Well, uh, Joseph, we have to find a way to give Chuck E. Cheese a bunch of money. Well, dude, how are we gonna do that? I know just the person who has a bunch of money. Who? Chef PP. Dude, isn't he poor? No, he just acts like that because he's so humble. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna go ask him for money. Oh, okay, dude. Mm, mm, mm. My broccoli cheese and mustard soup smells delicious. Hey, Chef PP. What do you want, Junior? I have a question for you. Ask your stupid question. How many zeros do you have in your bank account? Only three. I know it's disappointing. Well, that's not that bad. Is it 1,000 or 9,000? No, only three, Junior. Like 0.00. .00. Well, that would be nothing. Yeah, exactly, nothing. Bingo, I'm broke. Well, I thought you were loaded. Like a baked potato. No, I'm not loaded like a... Wait, wait who is that? My name's Scooter. That's Scooter. And today's his birthday, and we want to have his birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. Well, why don't you just go to Chuck E. Cheese? Well, they're going bankrupt. Well, whose problem is that? Well, now it's your problem. Wait, what? Why is it my problem? Because I know you have a billion dollars, and I know that you're going to buy Chuck E. Cheese and help him stop being bankrupt. Junior, I don't have a billion dollars, and even if I did, why would I give it to Chuck E. Cheese? Okay, so you do have a billion dollars, you're just not willing to help Chuck E. Cheese. Junior, I don't have a billion dollars, and even if I did, I wouldn't give it to a rat. See, you're saying that you do have a billion dollars, you're just not willing to help the cause. I hear you loud and clear, Chef PP. Junior, I don't have a... I'm broke! Just don't listen. Uh. Oh, hey, dude. Did Chef PP give you the money? No, he wants to keep his billions to himself. Uh, selfish people. How greedy. I know, Chef PP's so greedy. I just wanted Scooter to have his birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. What's Chuck E. Cheese? Where they chuck cheese at people? Owie. Well, no, they don't throw cheese at people. It's a really cool place with video games and pizza and prizes. I want to go. I, I know you want to go. I want to have your birthday party there, but it's going out of business. They don't have any money. They need to get a job. <sighs> Joseph, we need to find a billionaire who can buy Chuck E. Cheese. But, dude, we don't know any billionaires. I got to go to the bathroom. We don't know any billionaires, dude. I'm done. Scooter, you should go change yourself in the bathroom. Yeah. All right, so look, how about we invite Richard? <gasps> oh, yeah, Richard! Richard's rich! I know Richard has money, so we can invite him to Chuck E. Cheese, he can buy Chuck E. Cheese for us, and we can have a birthday party there! Oh, yeah, dude, let's do that! All right, I'll be call him. So what do you poor kids want? Your money. What, Joseph, don't be so obvious. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. So, Richard, have you ever been to Chuck E. Cheese? No, I go to Dave and Buster's like an adult. Oh, well, Chuck E. Cheese is a really cool place. They, they have an arcade and pizza. Like, like, have you ever been to an arcade? Of course I've been to an arcade. I have an arcade in my mansion. Well, can we come to your mansion then? 
Ew, the fact that you would even think I would let your poorness inside my mansion to play in my arcade is absolutely appalling. It's disgusting. You need to go away. Shoo. No, I'm not going anywhere. How about I'll pay you to go away? <laughs> okay then. Alright, here, take this heads up penny I found. Wait, that's a $20 bill! Yeah, that's a 20. I don't care what it is. If it's not a hundred, it doesn't belong in my wallet. Now take this penny and shoo. Okay, I'll leave with a 20. I've done worse for a 20. That's my uncle. <laughs> Well, Richard, look, what we want you to do is, we're just wondering, because we know you have billions of dollars, can you please buy Chuck E. Cheese, because they're bankrupt. Hmm. I don't want a Chuck E. Cheese, because I have an arcade in my house. Well, no, no, if you buy a Chuck E. Cheese, though, your name would be in lights everywhere. Everyone would be going to Richard E. Cheese's, and everyone would know who you are, and everybody would want to be your friend. Hmm. Well, I do need friends. That's actually a good idea, Junior. L let me go ask my dad. Okay. Well, this might work. Oh! Sigh! What's wrong, Richard? That was a really big sigh. Did you buy Chuck E. Cheese? No. Wh why not? Because my dad. What about your dad? He's stupid. Why is he stupid? Because he wouldn't let me buy Chuck E. Cheese. Well, why not? Well, I told him the idea, and he loved the idea. Well, that's good, so we can buy it. No, he loved it so much that he decided to buy it for himself. So instead of naming it Richard E. Cheeses, he's going to name it Goodman E. Cheeses. Well, that's still good for me. I can start my party there. But it's not good for me. Watch a stupid commercial. Welcome to Goodman E. Cheeses, where we've got pizza with 24 karat gold flakes and a filet mignon buffet. Our games also give out $100 bills. So come on down to Goodman E. Cheeses, where a kid can be a billionaire. Ugh, look at his ugly face. And listen to that stupid voice. I hope I don't look or sound like him when I get older. Do I look like him? Uh, not at all. Do I sound like him? Nope, nope, you don't look or sound like him. I think you were separated at birth. Good, that's exactly what I thought. I, I was hoping for that, actually. Yeah, you're definitely not his kid. Ugh. Well, anyway, enjoy your little poor party that you got. Ugh. I gotta go get Scooter for his birthday! <laughs> hey, Scooter, I got a surprise for you. Hey, fat boy, you wanna fight? I'll sound like Mickey Mouse. Well, I got a surprise for you to come with me. All right, Scooter, I got a surprise for you. Hold on, let me cover my eyes. Well, you don't have to cover your eyes with the surprise. Pick a boo. All right, so I got you a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. Pick a boo. Well, it's not really Chuck E. Cheese. My friend bought it, so it's called Goodman E. Cheese. Pick a boo. I get it, pick a boo. But anyway, we got you a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. Pick a boo. I, I get it. You don't have to do the pick a boo anymore. I understand. Pick a boo. Pick a boo. Look, look, look. Come with me, and we're going to have your birthday party, okay? Okay. All right, Scooter, are you ready to have your birthday at Goodman Eat Cheeses? It's Scooter's birthday. Yeah. Welcome to Goodman Eat Cheeses. Uh, how much is it to have a birthday party here? $1,000 an hour. $1,000 an hour? It's not going to be that expensive. Well, when the machines print out $100 bills instead of tickets, I have to charge that much. Uh, well, we don't have that much money. Then you get out of my Goodman Eat Cheeses. Uh, uh, can we at least play the games for fun? No. Get out. Oh, come on, Scooter. All right, Scooter, they kicked us out, but we're going to sneak in through this back door right here. Just be as quiet as a mouse. What sound does a mouse make? No sounds at all. But how do they talk? They don't talk. Okay. Well, look, let's just sneak in. Shh. All right, Scooter, this is called ski ball. But where's my ski? Well, you, don't, you don't actually ski. You, you roll the ball. Okay. What? No, 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 you roll it. Okay, give me a chance. There we go, fat boy. 50 points, I win. Yeah, you did it. All right, uh, my turn. How did you guys get back in here? Uh -oh, Scooter, run! Get out! Get out of my store unless you're willing to pay $1,000 an hour. But well, that's a lot of money. I don't care, get out. Oh. All right, we're gonna sneak back in and play a few more games, okay? Sounds good to me. All right, Scooter, hurry up and make a shot. Go, babe. Nothing but net. Why do you guys keep getting in here? Uh, hurry up and make another shot. No, not my house. Uh, run! Get out! He has not caught on that we're sneaking into this door. Let's keep going in. All right, Scooter, the way you play this game is you have to hit it as hard as you can. Are you sure? Yeah. Ah, we not me that! Okay, fat boy, here I go. I'm Superman. It was soft, you were supposed to make it to the top. But I got two points. How? How do you guys keep getting back in here? Uh -oh. Get out! Run, run, Scooter! Back tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna sneak in one more time. Okie dokie. How do we play this thing? All right, so you press this button, and the balls drop. You have to try to make them in the bucket. Scooter's been waiting his whole life for his ball to drop. 
No, 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 you're supposed to get them in the bucket. You're not supposed to just press it randomly. You're supposed to get it in the bucket. All right. Well, well, no, you, you... How do you guys keep getting in my store? Run! My ball game? Get out! If I catch you guys in my store one more time, I'm going to call the cops. And I'm going to put a big picture of you guys' face right here. And you guys are not allowed in. Or else you're going to go to jail forever. Okay. All right, we're going to sneak in one more time and have your cake. Yay, cake time. Let's Yummy. go. All right, Scooter, we don't have much time. I'm going to sing you happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Scooter. That's me. Happy birthday to you. All right, blow out the candles. How did you guys get a cake in here? Oh, blow out the candles. Go. No, no, no. Don't you blow out these candles in my own store. <laughs> well, Scooter, did you have a good birthday? Yeah, better than yesterday's birthday. What? Your birthday was yesterday? Yeah, every day is my birthday. Well, well, I thought your birthday was today. Yeah, and tomorrow. Well, okay, when's your birthday? Every year. I know you have a birthday every year, but like what day? Every day. You can't have a birthday every day. Yes, I can. Every day is my birthday. Well, when were you born? Every year. Oh, okay. What day every year? Today. Oh, so when's your birthday? Tomorrow. T but what about today? Yesterday. Okay, when's your birthday? Today. Okay, so today's your birthday. Yep. All right, so we got that clear. Today's your birthday. Yep, and I'll see you tomorrow on my birthday, fat boy. What? Your birthday's not tomorrow. Yeah. <sighs> Mario, it's really quiet. What's Jeffy doing? Hopefully he's in his room being quiet. Boy, are you wrong. Ah! <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. Jeffy, stop. I have to. Jeffy, stop it. No, no. Jeffy, please stop. If you don't stop, I'm going to pop it. Can't pop this. No, 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 no. Jeffy. No, 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 no. I told you I was going to pop it. Bad day, pop it, pop it, too. Jeffy, stop it. Someone at the door, hold on. Stop, stop him, crack. Uh, hello? Hey, fat boy. Wait, you again? What are you doing? That's your lollipop? I found it in the street. Well, ew, no! I'm going door to door trying to find out whose lollipop this is. Well, it's not mine, so bye. Well, come help me find out whose it is. I don't have time to do that. I don't care. Why don't you just eat it? No, no, no. No, I can't eat it. Not my lollipop. Okay, well then, why don't you throw it away? No, no, no. Not my lollipop. Can't throw it away. Okay, well, look, you know, it's mine. Give it to me. But you just said it wasn't yours. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Well, yeah, I lied. It's mine. Can I have it? Yeah, okay. No, no, no. I, actually, I want you to have it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, go eat it. Yummy. Uh, Who's at the door, Mario? Oh, it's just some... Jimmy! Where'd you get that at? I gave him another balloon, Mario, since you popped the last one. Why would you do that? He's going to be annoying again. Jeffy, let the air out of this balloon right now. Uh. Jeffy, stop it! Then have to! <laughs> Bad day, Papa Papa Dude! Again! <laughs> Was that the front door? I think so. Hey, fat boy, I finished your lollipop. You want your stick back? Ew, why would I want that? And how'd you get in here? Through the front door. It was unlocked. Well, you can't just randomly walk into people's houses. Yes, I can. And ew, you actually ate that? It was dirty. Yeah, my mouth has been in dirtier places. Well, that's disgusting. Go home. But I don't have a home. You don't have a home? No. But what about your parents? What are their parents? What are parents? I don't know. I asked you. Mario, he doesn't have any parents. Yes, he does, baby. Anybody that's born has parents. Mario, we can't abandon him and kick him out on the streets. That's where I found my lollipop. Yes, we can. Man, he loves it out there. He lives in the streets. Mario, no, he won't survive. He survived for like a year. He's been showing up randomly. Look, he's a tough cookie. I love cookies. Track a chip. Mario, what about Jeffy? They would get along so well. You better shut your mouth. They would not get good. We, we can't even take care of Jeffy. What? <sighs> Bad day, Papa Mama do it again. Again. <laughs> you know what? Look, he can stay here until he finds his parents, but I'm going to go make flyers and put them up around town. Okay, Mario. <sighs> okay, I just passed out all those flyers. Hopefully somebody calls soon. Wait, where's Scooter and Jeffy? What? A one, a two, a one, two, three! <laughs> uh, 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 it's like a circus in here! Why would you get to a party pimpin? I don't know, but he does it. Okay, he cannot stay here. He cannot stay here. God, please give me a sign to get rid of him. Breaking news, okay? A girl has gone missing. The parents are crying, hoping that people can find her. Here's them crying. Oh, 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 oh we miss our daughter. Please come home. Oh, 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 oh. We were supposed 
supposed to go to karaoke together. Our favorite song is Baby Camel. I'll sing it for you right now. Baby Camel do 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 do. Baby Camel do 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 do. Baby Camel. Baby Hoof do 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 do. Baby Hoof do 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 do. Baby Hoof. Please come home. Sad, isn't it? The family is offering a reward of $486.62 for any information regarding the location of their daughter. Why that much money? I don't know. I got an idea. What, Mario? They're looking for their daughter. So what if we dress Scooter up like a girl and say we found her? Mario, we can't do that. That's lying. Of course we can do it. I just go buy a costume like a girl costume. I can do it. No, Mario, that's sick and wrong. But, 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 but baby, look, those parents are looking for their kid. And we have a kid looking for his parents. It's a match made in heaven. Mario, I won't let you do that. <sighs> You're right, baby. You're, you're absolutely right, baby. What was I thinking? I, I was just joking. I was pulling a prank on you. But you know what? I think you should take Jeffy to the store and buy him some more balloons. Oh, Mario, that's a great idea. Yeah, and me and Scooter will stay here in case his parents call. But Mario, you have a cell phone. Uh, yeah, but, but me and Scooter have to stay here uh, so I can get to know him better in case we adopt him. Because I, I really like that idea. Oh, Mario, yeah, that's a great idea. Come on, Jeffy, let's go buy you some balloons. Heck yeah, Mommy. Heck. Wait, Jeffy, stop screaming that word. Heck! Jeffy, stop. It's a bad word. It's not a bad word, Daddy. I can say as much as I want. Heck! Heck! Hey, okay, Jeffy, come on. Heck, 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 heck! Let's go get some balloons! Heck! All right, Scooter, let's go play dress up. Okay. Oh, man, Scooter, you're so pretty. Why am I dressed like a girl? Because I need you to lie to these parents and say that you're their daughter. But Scooter doesn't lie. I forgot. Scooter doesn't lie. <gasps> but guess what today is? What day is it? It's Halloween! Trick or treat! Yeah, we're gonna go trick or treating, so these people are gonna bring you a bunch of candy, but your costume is that you're dressed up as their daughter, so if you act like their daughter, they'll give you a bunch of candy and lollipops! Okay, but if I'm a girl, where's my hoo-hoos? Your what? My hoo-hoos! You don't have hoo-hoos! Okay, well I got a question for you! What? Are snails born with shells? Are snails born with shells? I don't know, I asked you! I don't know, probably not! Where are they get it from? I don't know. Walmart? Yes, they get them from Walmart. Okay. Okay, look, I'm going to call the parents. I just need you to act like uh, you're their daughter, okay? So just say girly things. Okay. All right, Scooter, it's ringing. Just act like a girl. Okay. Hello, this is Camille Habib Habab. Camille as in camel, Habib Habab as in corn on the cob, and I want my daughter to come home. Well, good news, Camille. We found you. <laughs> what? Who? What? Who? Good news, Camille Habib Habab. Camille I as in? Camel. Habib Habab as in? Corn on the cob. Did you make a payment on your doorknob? No, but, but I found your daughter. <gasps> you found Camille Habib Habab? Camille as in camel, Habib Habab as in corn on the cob's daughter? Yes, yes, I found your daughter. Camille Habib Habab, all that stuff. I found it. <gasps> Let me talk to Heidi. Is Heidi her name? Yes. Okay, give me one second. All right, Scooter, your name is Heidi. My name's Scooter. What? No, no, it's not. It, it, it's Halloween. You're supposed to help me out. Your, your name is Heidi. Heidi? Hi okay. Yes. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, you can speak to her. Okay, let me talk. All right. Here you go, Heidi. Scooter! Who's Scooter? Uh, 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 Heidi was playing with a scooter. She, she went to the bathroom riding a scooter and... So, so you can't really talk to her right now. She she went somewhere. Okay, that's okay. I'll, I'll be at your house in a few minutes. Okay, I'm on my way. Bye. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later, Camille. Uh, uh, Scooter, where are you? Scooter. Thank you, man. Uh, Scooter. Uh, Scooter. Scooter, where are you at? Thank you, man. Scooter. All right, Scooter. Enough games. I know you're in the bathroom, and there's nowhere to escape. Where are you hiding at? You're hiding in the toilet. Hey, hey. Scooter! Where's he at? Pick it, man. Uh, Scooter! Uh, enough with the game, Scooter. Where are you? Pick it, man. You found me. Scooter, why are you hiding? Because you told me I'm hiding. No, I said your name is Heidi. Yeah, I'm hiding. No, no, no your name is Heidi. 
Heidi Ho. Yes, Heidi Ho. Your name is Heidi. So that is your name. Now come on. Okay. All right, Heidi. Not hiding. Heidi, you're going to sit right here, okay? Okay. I'm here. Kamil Habib Habab. Kamil is in camel. Habib Habab is in corn on the cob. I'm here to pick up my daughter. Well, your daughter's right here. Check her treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Why? Why say that? Because you say it's Halloween. Heidi, it is not Halloween. Why are we wearing a talking horse? I'm not a horse. I'm a camel. Don't you see my hoof? Well, yeah, you don't remember? Your dad's a camel. A talking camel? What? No, your dad is a camel. Okay. What's wrong with Heidi? Uh, she she fell off the monkey bars and, and, and bumped her head. Oh, oh, why does she look like that? Because she also got ran over by her car. Oh no, but can she still sing karaoke? I love this thing. La, Mary la, had la, a la, little la, camel, la, little la, camel, la, little la, camel. La, Mary had a little la, camel la, whose la, name was Camille la, Beaver la, Bob. La, oh, Heidi, it is you. I'm going to take you home. You're my daughter. Well, I heard there was also a reward. Yes, the reward. I will take it out of your doorknob payments. Uh, uh, Okay. Okay. Yeah, you just take your daughter with you. Here she All is. Right, come on, Heidi. Let's go home and sing karaoke. He's finally gone. He's gone. Mario, we're back. Yeah, Daddy, and I got me another Badoon show. <laughs> Suck it. Where's Scooter? Oh, his parents came and got him. Really, Mario? Yep, they saw the flyers I taped up everywhere, and they called and came and got him. That's amazing. It's a miracle. It is a miracle. He's gone. It's a miracle. What were their names? Uh, the, the parents? Uh, uh, his dad's name. Uh, was Camille and he was <sighs> his dad's name was Camille Habib Habab Camille as in camel Habib Habab as in corn on the cob oh well he sounds really nice Mario yeah he, he was really annoying but look we only have Jeffy to deal with and I'm happy with that <laughs> oh, Jeffy stop it Jeffy stop it how dare you Hello? Hello, mister. I'm lost. Have you seen my parents? Uh, uh, no. <sighs> hey, Danny. Oh, Jeffy, what do you want? I got a big blue ball. I have elephantitis, and I'm bouncing on it. Well, Jeffy, don't bounce in here. Well, where am I supposed to bounce? Well, go bounce in the hallway. All right. Oh, 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 Jeffy, stop it. <sighs> oh, 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 bounce, bounce, bounce. Whoa, there, ball. <laughs> Those are stairs, and we can't go down the stairs. Or can we? Let's bounce down the stairs! <laughs> Jeffy! What was that noise? I swear if he broke something. <laughs> Jeffy! Jeffy, you get your butt in here right now! Jeffy! Why'd you break the glass? What happened? I didn't break the glass, the ball did. I'm tired of your excuses, Jimmy! Well, then why did you ask me what happened? Oh, so you're saying the ball did? Yeah. Okay, the ball broke it. Well, guess what's gonna happen to your ball? Yeah. Guess what's gonna happen? Come on, come on. Okay. All right, Jeffy, say bye bye to your ball. Bye, ball. Where are you going? Daddy, why would you do that? Because I popped it so you couldn't play with it anymore. That's mature. What if I took a knife and just started stabbing all the things that you like? You know what? I'll be right back. Jeffy, you get back here right now! Let's break it because I don't want you playing with it anymore! <clears throat> Jeffy, you put that knife down! All right, Daddy. Now we're even. Jeffy! You're gonna fix the couch! Now! You're gonna fix my ball! Now! Jeffy! Jeffy! That is it, mister! You are grounded! I'm talking no phone! That's all right. I don't even have a phone. No TV! That's okay. I don't even watch TV. No video games! Daddy, the only thing I need is my diaper. I could spank it for hours. Well, then no more diaper! Daddy, you took my diaper! You're the worst daddy ever! I wish you were never alive! Oh, okay. You wish I was never alive? Well, we gotta feed you and, and, and take care of you! Okay, okay. I'll show him. I'll show him if I was never alive. Okay, so Jeffy wishes I was never alive? Well, I'm gonna leave this skeleton here and make him think I die. And I'm gonna go on a little vacation and see how he lives without me. I'll put my hat on him. To make up think it's me. 
See, Danny took my diaper. I'm gonna start breaking all his stuff. Oh, but I always break stuff, and Danny never learns his lesson. So I need to destroy something that he really cares about. Hmm. I know his hat. I'm gonna light it on fire, and now I'll teach Danny a lesson. All right, there's my Danny. I just gotta figure out a way to distract him so I can take his hat. Oh, hey, Danny. Lovely weather we're having today, isn't it? I heard it's gonna be cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <gasps> oh, look, a meatball! Happy birthday to Danny's hat. Happy birthday to Danny's hat. Happy birthday to Daddy's hat. He's never gonna get it back. I'm gonna go show Daddy his new hat. All right, Daddy, I hope you like your hat extra crispy. Daddy? Oh, I get it. You're giving me the silent treatment. Well, that's okay. I'll just go back to burning the rest of your hat. Hey, Jeffy. Hey, Junior. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just got done burning my daddy's hat. You burnt your dad's hat? Sure did. He's going to be so mad. No, he's not. He's right there. Ask him. Ah! All right, Junior. Now, I know my daddy's ugly, but you don't have to go screaming at him. Well, that's a skeleton. What's a skeleton? That. No, that's my daddy, Junior. Well, if that's your dad, then he's dead. He's not dead. He was alive enough to pop my ball with a knife. Well, he popped your ball with a knife? Yeah, and the worst part is he took my diaper. Well, he deserves his hat to be burned. Exactly, Junior. That's exactly why I'm dead. Oh, well, how do you feel that your dad's dead? My daddy's not dead, Junior. But yeah, he's a skeleton. You're fibbing. I'm not fibbing. No cap? No cap. I'm talking burnt cap right there. Well, that's a burnt cap, and I'm no cap, but your dad's dead. That's a, he's a skeleton. My daddy's really dead? Yep, yep he's gone forever. Oh, well, what am I going to do if he's really dead? I mean, I guess you can party and break all the stuff you want to break. <gasps> we can throw a party, Junior? Well, yeah, we can throw a party and do whatever you want. Yeah, woo! Let's send it! Let's, Let's party! Woo! Uh, this for all the people whose daddies died tonight. If your daddy died tonight, say what? What? Uh, uh, uh. When I say daddies, you say dead. Daddies, dead. Daddies, dead. When I say daddies, you say dead. Daddies, dead. Daddies, dead. When I say knock knock, you say who's there? Knock knock, who's there? Knock knock, who's there? When I say ding, you say dong. Ding, dong. Ding, dong. Ding, dong. All right, I'm going to answer the door. All right. Uh, hello? Hey there, is Mario here? Why are you wearing a helmet? Oh, because I rode my bicycle. Still has training wheels on it, because I was never taught how to ride a bike. And usually, I drive my Lamborghini, but it's in the shop. Oh, well, are you here for the party? Wait, are there yoga instructors doing downward dog? No. I didn't think so. But anyway, is Mario here? Uh, uh M Mario, he doesn't live here anymore. <gasps> Did he move? Where is he? Well, he's either in heaven or the really fiery bad place. What are you talking about? He died today. <gasps> Mario died? <gasps> oh no! Oh my Mario! My precious Mario! Who's gonna pay all his debts? Who am I gonna annoy every single day? He was the only person who never paid his house payment. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I'm so sorry to hear about this, but yeah, he died today. Oh no, is there gonna be a funeral? I, I, I don't know, I mean his body's still upstairs. <gasps> his body's still upstairs? Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> Mario, my poor Mario. <laughs> Who's gonna pay his debt? <laughs> I'm gonna have to take his house. <laughs> have to sell his house. Oh, I'm gonna need everyone out of this house by the end of the night. Uh, I already have a buyer for it. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> My poor Mario. <laughs> uh, who are you at the door, Junior? Oh, some guy asking for your dad, but I told him he was dead and that he's never coming back. <laughs> what, what's wrong, Jeffy? I just realized that my daddy's dead and he's never coming back. I thought you were happy. I gotta go call the police and see if they can figure out what happened to my daddy. Oh man, where are the police gonna be here? Hi there, young fella. Did you call 911? Sorry I'm late. I was all tied up, stripped down. Yeah, when I came in here, I saw that my daddy was a skeleton. Oh no. This is the crime scene, y'all. I better call for backup. 
Officer Top! What's up, Officer Bottom? This man's all bones. Just like we like him. Ooh, you know how many bones are in the human body? How many? One more if you keep looking that good. Hey! What happened to my daddy? Looks like someone sucked all the life out of him. How is that possible? We just got here. Hey! hey. Looks like we're gonna have to search this crime scene, Top. And Bottom. Hey! Oh, Officer Bottom, why aren't you in uniform? Because he took it off of me, you animal. Oh, yeah, well, you can't talk like that at work. We're on the clock. I was on the clock earlier, minus the L. Hey! Oh, man, looks like someone stabbed this couch with a knife. That's hard evidence. You better show me your hard evidence at the office. Let's go. Hey there, fat boy. Look at this candy I found. It makes it sound like fireworks in your mouth. That's cool, I guess. What's wrong with you, you big crybaby? Well, I think my daddy's dead. Watch this candy. It sounds like fireworks in your mouth. Cool. But what do I do if he's really dead? Go to Walmart buy a new one. They sell daddies at Walmart? Yeah, they sell everything. Oh, well, I didn't think about that. Hey, watch this candy in my mouth. It sounds like fireworks. You can leave now. Okay. Hi there, young fella. After Officer Top shoved this hard evidence in my face, I was speechless. I could barely breathe. And we concluded after a long, deep search. Oh, it was deep. That that's just a Halloween ornament. Your dad's playing a prank on you. He's not really dead. My daddy's playing a prank on me? Yeah, and this case is closed. But we're about to open up another case at home. Oh, that case is always open. Hey. hey. We're about to take the dirt road home. I love the dirt road. I can't believe my daddy was playing a prank on me. I gotta get him back. All right there. Now when my daddy comes back, he's gonna think that I died. Oh, oh wait, he's coming. Let me hide. Jeffy, did you learn your lesson? Ah, Jeffy! Oh no, oh no. Jeffy probably thought I died, so that he died. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, Daddy! Jeffy, wait, you're alive? Yep, I just did the exact same thing that you did to me, but I did it to you. Well, okay, well, well, look, now we're even, Jeffy. Let, let's just act like none of this ever happened. I'm sorry for yelling at you over an accident. Let, let's just act like this never happened, okay? Okay. Now, where's my hat? Oh, right here, Daddy. I hope you like it extra crispy. Ah! That is it, Jeffy! You are grounded! I'm gonna break your helmet! Give me the helmet! No, shoot! Get, get, shoot! Give me the helmet! Shoot! Go away, Daddy! Oh, Who's that? <sighs> you see, uh, the hello? Has six bedrooms, three and what? a half beds. Mario, you're alive! Yeah? I thought you were dead! No? Wait, why are you wearing a helmet? Well, because I had to ride my bicycle here. My Lamborghini's in the shop. I never learned how to ride a bike the whole day. Mario, why? I thought you were dead. How are you alive? Well, I I've been alive the whole time. You sly dog. You sat there and faked your death, so you got out of paying your house pay. Well, no, 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 no. I faked my death to teach my son a lesson. You better apologize to Mr. Krabs, because he thought he was going to buy a six-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath house. Well, I, I, well, you shouldn't have put it up for sale, because I've been living here. Yeah, I thought you were dead. How, how was I? Mr. Krabs, I sincerely apologize. Mario over here faked his death. Well, I did not fake it. Oh, I did, but for my son. Look, oh, I'm sorry. You know what, Mario? You pay me your house payment right now. Well, is there any discounts? I don't really have it right now. Sure, I can give you a discount. I'll mark it up double and give you half off. That's still paying the house payment. Mario, you pay this house payment right now, or I'm selling your house to Mr. Krabs. Okay, I'll grab my wallet. There, everything is perfect for Jeffy's 16th birthday party. Cupcakes, Mario? You should have gotten him a real cake. Well, the store was sold out of real cakes, and Jeffy loves cupcakes. Listen, Jeffy's not even gonna remember that today's his birthday, so this is gonna be a big surprise party for him. He's definitely going to remember it's his birthday, Mario. Trust me, baby, he's not gonna remember that today's his birthday. He doesn't remember anything. We'll see. Who birthday? Jeffy birthday. Who birthday? Jeffy birthday. Daddy, who birthday? Jeffy birthday. Yeah, Jeffy birthday! Woo! Not gonna remember, huh? Uh, happy, happy birthday, birthday Jeffy. Jeffy! Oh, thank you, mother. Thank you, father. And I'm so happy to have both of my parents on my sweet 16. Yeah, you're, my, my big old boy is 16 years old and just two more years and we get that money. Mario! And since I turned 16, you know what that means, Daddy? What? Beep, 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 beep. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you back there. Please pull over. Never. Oh, no, it's bike strip. Get him out of the car. No, you'll never take. 
take me alive! You have the right to remain silent. No, no! I now sentence you to 25 years to life. Oh, look! Soap. Drop. If I don't get it. You're supposed to give me a car, Daddy! A car? Mario, it is his 16th birthday! I'm not buying him a car! Mario! Wait, he doesn't know how to drive and he doesn't even have a license! Bad birthday hat! Wait, hey, Daddy, I don't need a license because I'm 16 now! Well, Jimmy, what are you gonna do when you get pulled over and you don't have a license? Well, if the police officer knows how you do his job, I'll just tell him now I'm 16 and he'll let me go! That's not how that works! Mario, you have to get your son a car for his birthday! I'm not gonna get him a car. He doesn't know how to drive. I don't trust him behind the wheel of a car. Mario, you go get your son a car right now. Where am I supposed to get that? I don't have money. Go, Mario, go. <sighs> what this stupid hat anymore? Oh, look, Jeffy. It's a car you're never gonna have because your daddy hates you. Oh, look, a wall. <laughs> what is he doing? He's playing with a toy car, Mario, since you wouldn't buy him a real one for his birthday. Well, as a matter of fact, I just bought him a car. You did? Oh, oh, you got me a car, Daddy? Yeah, you're the best Daddy ever. I love you when you give me stuff and I don't even have to ask for it. My call me. Oh, Mario, you're the greatest. Yeah, 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 I am. All right, Jeffy, close your eyes. Let's go outside. All right, Daddy. I'm just going to turn my eyes off. All right, Jeffy, close your eyes. All right, Daddy. Jeffy, I said close your eyes. Well, Daddy, I turned my eyes off, so now I can't see. So it might look like my eyes are open, but really I can't see anything because I turned my eyes off. Jeffy, you can't turn your eyes off. Just cover your eyes. <sighs> Fine, Daddy. All right, and look this way. When I tell you to, you can look, okay? All right. Look! Surprise! D do you love it? Daddy, I sure hope you wiped after you put this big pile of crap in the driveway. Chevy, it's not a big pile of crap, it's your first car. Mario, no, that car was way too old and it's damaged. Well, every kid needs a beat up car for their first car so they can beat it up. Well, who owned it before you bought it? Chris Brown? Because he sure beat it up. Well, no, Chevy, look, it's, it's supposed to be a car that you can you don't have to be afraid to wreck it because, you know, if you run into stuff, you don't want to be worried. Okay, so when I drive it, I can run into stuff and hit people? Well, no, no, Chevy, you still can't hit people or run into stuff. Then why'd you buy me a car that was already beat up? Mario, <laughs> new cars are so safer and they have airbags yeah and more than one headlight well Jeffy, just get inside it you might love it it's red okay well let's hope that the door handles work and that there's actually seats all right jeffy look just get inside you might love it daddy who blew a big fart and ripped this seat well jeffy look look we can just tape it look, shrek drove it a few times so look, he ripped it but look just get in and look start the car you might love it where are we going? What, what, what are you doing in here? This is my home. I live. No, no, no. This is not your home. I bought this car for $300. It's not your home. You have to get out. Well, Dane, looks like he lives here, so I'm not driving this car. What, uh, Jeffy? Oh, get out of this car. <sighs> Mario, I can't believe you got Jeffy that piece of crap car. <laughs> Strap it on and pound me, Mommy. <sighs> It's not a piece of crap car. It's red, it's fast, it's a Porsche. Daddy, you can't spell Porsche without poor. And that car outside is poor. And the last part of the word Porsche is shh, because we have to be quiet because we might hurt its feelings talking about how poor it is. So Daddy, you hush your mouth. Mario, you couldn't have gotten him a nicer car than that? Well, I don't have money just to drop on a new car. All right, Daddy. Well, then we better not eat ever again. W what does food have to do with any of this? Well, if we can't afford a car, then we sure can't afford food. W well, and you better turn off all these lights because if we can't afford a new car or food, then we can't afford electricity. I have money for bills. I just don't have money for a new car. Well, I bet you have a car. Well, I do, but I have to drive places. I have to drive places too. Where do you have to go? Chuck E. Cheese. I can take you. No, I want to take me. Well, Jeffy, no, what, what, what is that? I think I think I hear cake. Hear cake. Daddy, there better be a girl twerking downstairs if you say you can hear cake. Hear cake, Mario? I was trying to end the conversation because he was winning the argument. <sighs> Daddy, you're lucky, and so am I. Because if this girl wouldn't have been down here twerking bottom, you would have been getting a spanking on yours. All right, Jeffy, let's light your birthday candles, and you can blow out the candles, and we can sing you happy birthday. All right. <gasps> Daddy, where's my cake? But that is your cake. Three tiny cupcakes? Where's my big cake? Well, the stores were sold out of big cakes. Daddy, who hurt you? Wh what? Who hurt you as a kid to where when you grew up, you had to make my life so bad? Jeff, you better be grateful. Some kids don't even have birthday parties. Grateful? This party sucks! But Jeffy! <laughs> Baby, can you answer the door? I'm dealing with Jeffy. Okay, Mario. You gotta be grateful, Jeffy. Look, just eat your cupcakes. But Daddy, the only thing I'm grateful for is this twerking bottle. Now I'm about to tame this bottle.
<laughs> Hello? Hey, what's up, gorgeous? <gasps> Super D, I haven't seen you in years, ever since the breakup! Yeah, you know, i just been saving the world, working on my abs. Oh, you've always had the nicest abs! Yeah, go ahead and give them a punch, just like old times. Oh, okay! Ow! Yeah, they're still rock hard. So what are you doing here? Well, you know, I was saving a family of kittens from that tree over there, and then I heard your voice with my super hearing, so I decided to come see what you were up to. Oh, well, actually, it's my son's birthday today. Son? You didn't tell me you had a kid. Adopted. Oh, whew, thank God. I was about to take off faster than a speeding bullet. Oh, man, and, and I wouldn't want your perfect body to be ruined, and you know how I don't like kids, you know? And then I wouldn't want to have to take care of a kid that wasn't mine, and then one day he'd be like, you're not my real dad, and he'd be right. I don't want to do all that. Well, it was very nice seeing you. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, can I come in? Oh, sure. I'm sure Jeffy would love to meet a superhero on his birthday. Yeah, Spider-Man ain't get crap on me. Jeffy, please be happy. If you're shy, then you know it because your daddy shucks, raise your hand. If you're shy, then you know it because your daddy shucks, raise your hand. If you're shy, then you know it, then you really want to show it because your daddy shucks, raise your hand. Jeffy, stop it. Mario, look who I found. Baby, I thought we were hiring Spider-Man. No, silly. This is one of my ex-boyfriends, Super D. What's up, little man? Ex-boyfriend? It was Super D. You never told me about him. Oh, Mario, it was so long ago. But it feels like it was just yesterday. But, but, but why'd you guys break up? It wasn't my abs, I'll tell you that. They are perfect. No, it wasn't the abs. He was just always gone, Mario, off saving the world, and all the praise, and the fame, and the attention. It was just too much to handle. Yeah, it's understandable. Well, well I bet you he's not even really a superhero. I bet he just dresses like that. I bet he doesn't have any powers. Actually, Mario, he has cake vision. Cake vision? Yeah, show him. Oh, come on, babe. You know I don't like to show off. <laughs> Who's at the door? Is it another one of your ex-boyfriends? Probably not, Mario. Better not be. Oh, you were always so possessive. Well, you two separate. Uh, hold on, let me answer the door. Uh, hello? Hey, fat boy. What, what are you doing here? Someone done called 911. Says it's getting hot in here. Good getting hot. I'm gonna take off all my clothes. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. Scoo's gonna have to take his clothes off. Uh-oh, there's my hose. And hose knows, scooter hose. Can you get out of here? Okay. This is really good cake, Super D. Yeah, Super D. I wish you could be my daddy, because my current daddy blows. Wait, you guys are eating cake? What happened to singing happy birthday? Oh, we already sang happy birthday, Mario. You already sang it without me? I'm Jimmy's father. I should be here for that. Hey, you want some cake, bro? No, I don't want some cake, bro. Okay, what's your problem, man? Uh, because you just shot cake out of your eyes. I didn't shoot cake out of my eyes. I turned your bad cake into better cake. Well, my cake wasn't bad. Your, your cake's bad. My cake was perfectly fine. Mario, who was at the door? No one, and I think it's time for Super D to be leaving. What does Super D even stand for? Super dumb? Well, Rosalina gave me the name, actually. Wh what? Yeah, I don't really know what it stands for, though, because my name's Zach. We thought about going with Zach Attack, but then... Yeah, we went on one date, and she wanted to call me Super D afterward. Actually, now that I think about it, all the women I go out on dates with want to call me Super D. Well, I mean, I do have Mrs. Incredible powers from the waist down, so I'm very tall. Well, you, you know what? I, I don't care. I, I've had enough with you. I think it's time for you to leave because me and Jeffy have to go drive his new car. Isn't that right, Jeffy? Daddy, I don't want to drive that piece of crap car out there. That car shucks. I want a better, nicer car. A car with my face on it. Well, you're not going to get that, Jeffy. Huh. A nicer car, huh? Hold on. You're gonna fix our roof! That's it, Rosalina! I don't want you talking to him ever again! Mario, I didn't invite him over, he just showed up! Well, that's weird and stalkerish, so the first thing in the morning, we'll go to the courthouse and get a restraining order on him. Mario, don't be ridiculous! Ugh, all right, I'm back. Everybody come outside, I got a cool surprise. Well, no, how about you just go outside and never come back because we don't want to see your face again? Mario, don't be rude, you're embarrassing me! Yeah, you're embarrassing your, uh, what are you two again, friends? Oh, we're married! Look at my ring! Married? Alright, it's time to use my divorce vision. Oh, no, no, no divorce vision! How about you use your leave vision and go away forever vision because we don't want to see you ever again! Well, I can't leave before Jeffy sees his cool new birthday present. Come on, oh. it's in the driveway! You got me a birthday present? Yeah, close your eyes, Jeffy. Let's go outside. Okay! Alright, Jeffy, open your eyes. It can't what? be any worse than my daddy's car. <gasps> ah! It's... That's the coolest car in the world! Thank 
Super Daddy? Don't mention it, son. That is the greatest gift ever, Super D. Anything for you, babe. Wait, how did you do that? Well, first I flew to a car dealership with my flying powers, and then I picked up a car I liked with my super strength. See my abs? Then I brought it back here and painted it to look like Jeffy's face with my paint vision. But paint vision? Yeah, it's just one of my many superpowers. Isn't he the greatest, Mario? Well, just because you can do a bunch of great things doesn't mean you're great. I think that's actually the definition of greatness, doing a bunch of great things. <laughs> Hey, Super Daddy, you think we can go for a drive? Sure thing, kiddo. Yay! <sighs> Mario, why are you so mad? Because your stupid, dumb ex-boyfriend just showed up and it's all so cool and perfect. Why don't you go be with him? He'd make you happier. Mario, you don't need to get jealous. I'm not jealous. You're clearly jealous, Mario. I'm not jealous of his perfect abs or his full head of hair or his superpowers or picking up cars or his cake vision. I, I just think it's, he's dumb. Mario, then why are you angry? I, I, I'm, I'm angry because... He just showed up uninvited, like, call next time, like, don't just show up, that's, that's rude. Mario, can't we please just enjoy the day for Jeffy? He's having a good time. <sighs> oh man, I can't wait to catch me some speeders. Gotta beat my quota for the month. Come on, where are ya? Whoa, I clocked him going over 110! Oh, I love a good car chase! Wee, whoa! <laughs> Just act natural. I've dealt with these pigs before. Do you have any idea how fast you were going? Obviously not fast enough because you caught up with me. Bit, bit, bit. Yeah, well, my hairdryer said you were going over 100 miles an hour. And by the way, do you know this car was reported stolen? Stolen? Yeah, apparently somebody just picked it up with their bare hands right off the dealership lot and flew away with it. Oh, I didn't steal anything. You might want to talk to this guy. What? Super D, is that you? Oh, no. What? All right, kid, you're in a lot of trouble because I can't fly after him. Me? I didn't even do anything! Just step out of the car. Aww. Mario, there's someone at the door. Why don't you go answer it? It might be one of your other ex-boyfriends I don't know about. Like, maybe this was an astronaut or a rapper or an archaeologist. Oh, Mario, we don't talk about them. What? Come on, let's go answer. Uh, hello? Wait, what's going on here? Daddy, I arrested him. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't right. You get in front of me. Well, Jeffy, why are you arrested? I caught your son driving a stolen vehicle. A stolen vehicle? I thought Super D bought it for him. No, you don't want to be messing with Super D. You know what the D stands for? What? ding -a -ling. And it also stands for Super Delinquent because he's a super villain. A super villain? But he always used his powers for good when we were dating. Oh yeah? Well, you ever heard of Super Tax Evasion? Because he did it. You know, you can't go saving all those people and destroying buildings without paying taxes. Oh, I hate Super Dave. He got me in trouble, and then he left me there. Well, thank you, officer, for bringing Jeffy back. Come no, on, no, 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 no. Jeffy's going to jail for five years. What, five years? It's his birthday. Yeah, well, it's my birthday, too, and I don't get off on my birthday. Not even when I get home. Well, well is there anything we can do? We don't want Jeffy going to jail. Hmm. Well, if you throw me the best birthday party ever, I'll let him go. Well, I guess just take him to jail. Mario, we have to try. All right, come inside. We'll try to throw you a party. Yay. All right, Brooklyn guy. You can have the rest of Jeffy's cake. Yay, cake. And you can have a cupcake if you want one. Oh, my God. I love cupcakes. I love cupcakes more than regular cake. Honestly, if you just got me a cupcake instead of a normal cake, I'd be just as happy, if not more so. So what do you want to do after you eat your cupcake? Well, I really just hope you bought me a car for my birthday. And honestly, I don't even care what it looks like. It could have four flat tires, one headlight, and a clown living in the trunk, and I'd still be happy. <laughs> Jeffy, are you having an epiphany? Um, Daddy, I just wanted to apologize because I've been a really bad booger lately. And you were just trying to be the tissue that extracts that booger from my nasal cavity. So I wanted to apologize for not being appreciative for the things that you were trying to get me. Yeah, Mario, we're really sorry. I didn't realize Super D was such a bad person until the cop told us. Well, he's such a real Super D bag. <laughs> ding a -ling. So I'm glad you guys understand now and understand that I love you, Jeffy, and I love you too. I don't want to lose anyone. And I just have a really awesome birthday and we all celebrate together. Okay, Danny. Wait, wait, wait. Is, is that Christmas music? Yeah. Well, that doesn't fit at all. Hello? Hey, fat boy. Someone called 911. It's about noise complaint. Saying you weren't making enough noise. <laughs> get, get out of here! Okay. <sighs> hey, 
Daddy, can you do me a favor? What is it, Jeffy? Can you buy me this new game called Fall Guys? How much is it? 20 bucks. <sighs> you know what? Here you go, Jeffy, buy your game. Yes. Pee pee, Daddy. Pee pee. Pee pee. Pee pee, Daddy. Jeffy, go buy the game. All right, Daddy, I actually have one more problem. What? Fall Guys is for the PlayStation 4, and all I have is an Xbox One. So I was wondering if you could buy me the PlayStation 4, because it's only 400 bucks. Jeffy, I don't have 400 bucks. Well, you were pulling out 20s like it was nothing. Jeffy, I, I had 20 bucks. I didn't have $400. If you want a PlayStation 4, you have to wait till Christmas. Christmas? The PlayStation 5 will be out by then, and no one's going to be playing Fall Guys. They're going to be playing Get Up Guys or something. Well, just find a game for the Xbox, Jeffy. What do you want me to play on the Xbox? Fortnite? No one plays Fortnite anymore. Well, Jeffy, I'm not going to buy you a PlayStation 4, so just play with your Xbox. Well, what do you want me to do? Go steal a PlayStation 4? Well, it, it, we'll go do that and see what happens. <sighs> 20 bet. <laughs> Boom, Daddy! Check that out! That's a PS4, but what I like to call it is a PPS4 because it's so. PP. Jeffy, how did you get a PS4? I stole it? I got the four finger discount, Daddy, because I only got four fingers. You stole it, Jeffy? I sure did, Daddy. Why? Because you told me to. I did not tell you to steal it. You said do it. No, I did not. Bruh. You said do it and see what happens. And see what happens? That's a free PS4, Daddy. It's not a free PS4, Jeffy. You stole it. Did I pay any money for it, Daddy? No. Free. Well, you stole it. It's not free. Jimmy, it's not free. You were supposed to free. <sighs> it's not free. Free. Oh, there's someone free. on the If it's the cops, you're not going to be. Free. Yeah. Uh, hello? Ah! You okay, buddy? Yeah, everything's fine, officer. What are you doing here? Well, your reaction tells me you probably know what I'm doing here. I have no idea why you're here. I don't know anything about a stolen PS4. Well, that's funny you should say that, because somebody just stole a PS4 from Target, and in the security footage, it looks a lot like your son, Jeffy. Well, Jeffy? Oh, he moved out a month ago. He doesn't live here anymore. Oh, really? Yep, Jeffy does not live here anymore. So Jeffy's not here. No, Jeffy is not here. I haven't seen him. He's definitely I not here. I see him. Wait, wait, you saw what? Hey, Daddy, check out my PBS 4 Just go back in the room! He doesn't matter now. I've seen him. I know he's here. He's not here. That, that wasn't Jeffy. That was my grandfather. Go back to bed, Grandpa! I'm here every day. I'm pretty sure I know what your kid looks like. I'm coming in. Okay. Well, well, well. There's the stolen PS4. What do you have to say for yourself, Jeffy? My daddy told me to do it. What? Oh, really? No, I said do it and see what happens. And see what happened? I got a PS4 for me. Huh. Uh, I don't know, this is kind of confusing. Is it your fault for telling him to steal the PS4, probably sarcastically, or his fault for actually stealing the PS4 from the store? It's his fault! Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to call for backup. Uh, just pretend there's a walkie-talkie right here. Come in, I need backup, over! Did somebody call for backup? I was backed up earlier, until Officer Toppin clogged my drain. Hey! Oh god, these two. What's the hard predicament you're in, officer? And he means predicament. Ugh, okay, look, this kid right here stole this PS4, but his dad told him to, but he was being sarcastic, so I don't know whose fault it is. I think they both need a spanking. I want to join their group. I think I stole it too. You don't have to steal to get your spanking. <laughs> oh god, okay, just focus, you two. Wait, where's your uniform? I lost it, but I'll get on all fours to try and find it. You don't, you don't, have, that don't have to do that. I'm backing it up. Toot toot. No, no toot toot. Okay, look, I figured it out. I don't need backup. What, what, what happened? Well, the kid stole the PS4. It's right there. Look, I, I'm fine. I don't need your help. Okay, looks like this is open and shut. Come on, Officer Bottom. I think there's a crime scene in the next room we need to explore. Sounds like a good time. Oh, God, I feel like I need a shower. So what's happening, Officer? Well, now I'm going to go get tested, and then I'm going to take Jeffy to jail. What, to jail? Well, for what for? Well, he stole a PlayStation 4. That's a crime. Well, he doesn't know any better. He's 16, and this is not the first time he's done something like this. Oh, well, don't worry. Look, I will ground him. Well, that, that clearly hasn't worked up until now because he keeps doing bad things. Well, look, I will super ground him. I'm going to take everything away from him. He's going to learn his lesson this time. Look, just give me one more chance to ground him. Okay, but this is your last, last chance, okay? After this, he's going to jail. Okay, you hear that, Jeffy? If you mess up again, you're going to jail. All right. Yeah, see, look, he, he understands. Okay, I'm taking this PS4, and I'm going to go play Fall Guys. <gasps> Daddy, he just took my PlayStation 4! Jeffy, you're grounded. You don't deserve that PS4. You stole it. Grounded? For what? Bruh, you don't know what you're grounded for? You stole a PS4. You always do bad stuff. Jeffy, you're grounded. I'm taking everything away from you. You're taking away everything? Everything. I'm taking away your Xbox. My Xbox? 
Xbox? First my PlayStation 4 and now my Xbox? You never had a PS4 because you stole it. So look, we're gonna go to your room and I'm gonna show you all the stuff you lost. <sighs> all right, Jeffy, I'm gonna take your pillow. My pillow? Yeah, I'm gonna take your SML blanket. Not my SML blanket that I got from SMLmerch.com, link in the description. Yeah, I'm gonna take everything. You know what? You're not allowed to keep your light on ever again. You have to be in the dark. <sighs> Well, you should be afraid of stealing, because if you steal again, you're going to go to jail. Well, screw you, Daddy! Well, suck it, Jeffy, suck it! Suck it? I'll show you suck it! You know what? You're not allowed to leave your room ever again. Well, screw you, Daddy! Uh, I'm going to teach my Daddy for grounding me. I'm going to paint him a picture, so when he wakes up, he'll see it. And done. I can't wait for my Daddy to see this. Ooh. Oh man, that was a great sleep. Today's gonna be a great day. Good morning house, good morning walls, good morning ceiling, good morning living room. <laughs> Did you find something, Daddy? Yes, Jeffy, you know what you did! What are you talking about, Daddy? Come on! This, Jeffy, what does this say? It says, suck it, Daddy. Can't you read? That is that, mister! I am done! I am so done! Done with what, Daddy? You! Daddy, you know it's not polite to point. Come on. Ow! That is it, Jeffy! I'm so tired of you! I am so done with you! I am so done with you! You have no idea how done I am with you! How done? So, so done! You, I called the cop because I can't do it anymore! Hey there, somebody call a cop? Yes, officer, I can't do it anymore. I need you to punish him. Oh, you want me to take him to jail? I don't want you to arrest him, but like, can you like take him to jail and show him how scary it is? Oh, like a beyond scared straight sort of thing? Yeah, like that. Oh, okay, yeah, I think I can hire an actor to come pretend to be an inmate. Yeah, like that. Okay. All right, Jeffy, this officer's gonna take you to jail because I can't do it anymore. Yeah, you're coming with me, kid. Oh, I don't want to go to jail. Oh, you're going to jail. Yeah, you're going to jail, come on. All right, Jeffy, if you keep being bad, you're gonna end up in jail like this guy. Oh, let me at him, let me at him! I can't wait to be somebody's butt until they start acting good. Yeah, yeah, tell them how bad jail is. Oh, you don't wanna be in jail. There's no electricity, there's no air conditioning. There's not even a body over there. I gotta poop in a corner there, wipe my butt with my hands. Smell it, smell it. Your hands smell clean. Uh, well, it's because I just washed them. Uh, we only get to wash once a month. Yeah, yeah, uh, tell them about the food. Oh, man, the food is horrible. We only got ham and cheese sandwiches. That's not so bad. You gotta make it sound worse than that. Uh, well, it is bad when you gotta put it between an inmate's butt cheek and then eat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 I've seen them do it. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't last long in here either. You cute. Wait, you ain't supposed to kiss back. Uh, 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 tell him what you'll do to him if you see him in there. Oh, don't let me see you in here. Because if I see you in here, I'm a bop. Yeah, he'll he'll bop you. Mm -hmm. that, that's why he's here. He, he was the Chicago bopper. He kept he kept bopping people. Or, or he stole the bop it from Target. But anyway, Jeffy, now do you see why jail's bad? Well, it doesn't seem so bad. You get to poop on your floor, which I don't even get to poop on the floor in my house. And you get to eat ham and cheese sandwiches, which is better than eating green beans, because green beans are disgusting. But, but you gotta eat the sandwiches out of somebody's butt. Which is still better than eating green beans. Have you ever eaten green beans? Yeah. Yeah, they're disgusting. All right, Jeffy, come on, let's try something else. Wait, wait, let me out! I did my part! All right, so the prison thing didn't work, but I have a new idea. I paid this homeless guy five bucks to pretend he's Jeffy from the future if he doesn't straighten up. Oh, so if Jeffy sees how bad he is in the future, he's not going to act bad anymore. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm going to tell Jeffy we got a time machine. Jeffy, get in here! What's up, Daddy? So, uh, don't tell anyone, but we have a time machine. <gasps> really? Yeah, we have a time machine, and we went in the future, and we grabbed your future self if you keep acting bad. So, Jeffy, meet Jeffy. Hey, my name is Jerry. What? No, your name is Jeffy. Jerry. Not Jerry, Jeffy. Uh, Jerry. Well, this is your future self. You change your name to Jerry in the future because you're so bad. Why does he smell like pee? Well, because he keeps peeing his pants. <laughs> you can't pee your pants if your pants are down. <laughs> well, um, well, well, you're that. Daddy, you have a time machine, so you literally could have grabbed anything from the future. You could have grabbed a cure for cancer. You could have grabbed a flying car. But no, you had to grab this bum. Well, I was just trying to show you how bad your future will be if you keep acting bad, Jeffy. Well, it's not working. Okay, I have a new idea. We're going to show him his future self if he's good. Yeah, let's do that. Now, Jeffy, this is the future you if you stop doing bad things. Hey, fat boy, I got all the money and all the honey. 
I'm cashing checks and eating grass without the GR. Yeah, Jeffy, this is the future version of yourself who's really successful and doesn't do bad things. Yeah, I don't lie, I don't steal, I just do good things. So what version of yourself do you want to be? The future rich version or the homeless man? I mean the homeless version of yourself. Well, Daddy, obviously I want to be the future rich version of myself. So that means you can't steal or do bad things. You have to stay in school and study. You can't be mean. Yeah, Daddy, I understand. Um, is it okay if I talk to future self for a minute? Yeah, I guess so. Um, let's, let's leave him alone. I think it's working. Okay. Bruh, Scooter, check it. I know it's you, dog. So why don't we take all this cash and go buy a brand new PS4 and play Fall Guys? Okay. All right. Run! Yeah! Watch out! Yeah, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I think Jeffy learned his lesson. But Scooter, what do you do out of costume? I don't know. Wait, where's all my money? We bought a PlayStation 4 with it. A PlayStation 4? You what? That was my money! I got it when I pulled somebody over and searched their car! Jeffy, you just stole this officer's money! Danny, I didn't steal any money! I borrowed it from future me! What? Oh, well, he kinda has a point. What are you talking about? Well, we told Jeffy that that was future him, so as far as he's concerned, he didn't steal anything, he just borrowed it from himself. You thought that was future version of yourself, so he got a loan from the future version of himself? Yeah, I mean, this is a technicality, but I really don't want to call backup again. But, so you don't care? Well, I guess you can get away with this one. <sighs> well, Jeffy, did you at least learn your lesson? Yeah, Daddy, I learned my lesson. I just got a question. Do you have any more future me's running around the house carrying a bunch of money? Because there's some items in the item shop that I want. Well, no, Jeffy, but you learned not to steal, right? And you learned not to do bad stuff, right? <sighs> yeah, Daddy, I did. All right, so then you keep playing your game, but just, you, you know the consequence if you do bad stuff. You'll go to jail and end up homeless. So what are you going to go do now? I'm going to go pull somebody over and get my money back. Hey, Daddy, can Scooter and I go outside and ride scooters? No, Jeffy, it's dark outside. What about the moon? What about the moon? It ain't bright. It's not bright enough to light up the ground. Well, what about the stars? They're not bright enough either. Oh, Mario, come on. Let them go outside and play. No, they're going to get hit by a car. Cars have headlights. Baby. Baby. Mario, let them go have fun. Okay, fine, but when they get hit by a car, don't come crying to me. Bye, boys. Have a good time. Yay! Come on, Scooter. Let's go outside and ride scooters. Whippy! Whippy! This is fun riding our scooters at night, Jeffy. Yeah, good thing we taped our hands to the scooter so we don't fall off. I heard that. Oh, no, Scooter, there's a car coming. We got to get out of the way. No, nope, I'm about to jump it. You're going to jump over the car? Yep. Watch me go. Whoa, whoa. All right, Mercedes, when we get back to my house, you're going to be Mercedes Benz over. What me! Oh, my God! What did you just hit? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was a tree limb or a kid on a scooter. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's what you sound like. You're so ugly. Get out of my car. There's 20 more better than you at home. Oh, oh okay, whatever. Oh, not to go deal with this BS. Ow! Please be dead. Please be dead. Please be dead. Oh, man, he's alive! Uh Pepsi, I made a Pepsi. Oopsie, I made a poopsie indeed. And this is gonna be a very expensive poopsie when you sue me for everything that I have. My back hurts. Oh, I bet it does. Well, you know what? You're about to be a really rich man. How about I give you all the money that's in the trunk of my car as long as you don't sue me for everything that I have. Okay. All right, great. Daddy, 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 Scooter got hit by a car. Oh no, that's terrible, Mario. We have to do something. What did I say? Don't come crying to me. Jimmy, is he okay? I don't know, Mommy, because right when Scooter got hit by a car, the poop monster came and pooped in my pants. So you pooped in your pants? No, the poop monster did, and he's out on the loose, Daddy, so I think we need to find him. No, Jeffy, go, go clean the poop out of your pants in the bathroom. <sighs> okay, Daddy. Mario, we need to go check on Scooter. No, we don't. I knew this was going to happen. He's not a responsibility. But Mario, that's terrible. We have to check on him and make sure he's okay. If a kid gets hit by a car and no one's there to see it, did it happen? Yes, Mario. Well, he's not a responsibility. Oh. Pick a boo. Ah! Scooter, didn't you get hit by a car? Yep, sure did. And it hurt. Owie. Mario, is this your kid? No, no, it's not my kid. It'll never be my kid. Are you sure? I'm sure. We look nothing alike. Hmm. How about you? Is it your kid? No, he's not my kid. Kid, who are your parents? I already told you. I ain't got no parents. Yeah, he doesn't have parents. Okay. All right, well, it looks like you're telling the truth, so let's go get your money. Okay. Wait, money? All right, Scooter, here's your $200,000 in cash. Why are we really? I'm so rich, I'm a Monopoly man. I must have passed go. Well, Goodman, why are you giving him all this money? Because I accidentally hit him with my car, and I didn't want him to sue me. So I came here looking for his parents because I was going to give them the money. But you said that you weren't his parents, so I gave it to him. Well, well I, I misunderstood the question. I actually am his parents. Lie. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I don't have parents. Well, well, Goodman, what's he going to spend that money on? I don't care what he spends the money on. As long as he doesn't sue me. 
C come on, Scooter, buddy. What are you going to spend all that money on? I'm going to go buy some Coke. It's yummy. What, Coke? There you go. Scooter buddy, everyone wants some Coke. Scooter loves to share. Thanks, Scooter. There's a straw. It makes it easier. Thank you. Have you ever tried Coke before? Yes, yes. I've had Coca-Cola the soda before. Okay. So now that you bought everyone some Coke, what are you going to buy with the rest of your money? Scooter's going to buy a girlfriend. You can't buy a girlfriend, Scooter. Now that Scooter has all this money, all the women want me. Well, well you don't want women that want you for your money. They want you, they got, you got to want a girl that wants you for you. Scooter's smart. I know a good girl when I see one. I'm going to go check on Jeffy. Okay. Well, well, well. Look who got the girlfriend. You got her? Yep. Her name's Mercedes Benz Over. Back the car. Beep, beep. Mercedes Benz Over. Yep. What, what does she do? She's a firefighter. She smells like smoke and slides down a pole. And all the guys that she saves puts money in her underwear. What? That doesn't sound like a firefighter. Oh, yes, it is. I even went to where she works. The fire station. It must have caught on fire because it was full of smoke. Then all the female firefighters caught on fire. They had to take off all their clothes. Then all the guys covered them in dollars so they could buy more clothes. What? Uh, are you sure she's a firefighter? Yep, because she even went to a guy's house. I saw it through a window. She has given them CPR. Then they caught on fire because they took off all their clothes and started to stop dropping and rolling. What? Uh, 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 well, yep, she's a real hero. Yes, she is. Come on. What? I'm giving away free scooters. Who wants a scooter? My first customer. Hey, I'm hungry. You smell like Dookie. P.U. Take a free scooter. Uh, I, I can't eat that. I need food. But you can ride it. Go get food. Uh, I don't got no money. Money? Hold on one second. Here you go. Take this money. <laughs> money man. <laughs> oh my god. You're so generous, Peter. But my name's Scooter. Oh yeah. Can I have some money? Sure thing, baby. Go upstairs and get some. Yeah. Free scooter. Hey, did I hear somebody say something about free scooters? Yeah. Oh, nice. I can get my son this for his birthday so I can stop shopping. Or you can have $40,000. Huh? What? I'm sorry, what? $40,000. Or the scooter. Uh, hold up, hold up. Did I, did I just hear you say you would give me $40,000? Yeah. Ho okay, ho hold on. Hold on. Just take a second. So, my choices are I could have this little $10 scooter that's meant for ages 30 months and up or $40,000 in cold, hard cash. Yeah. That, really, like no funny business? Nope. Like, like seriously, like what do I have to do? Just pick one. What, pick one, pick what? What do you mean pick one? The scooter or $40,000 cash. Th those are my options. Yeah. And, okay, you, you're not gonna like touch me or something, right? Nope. And I don't have to touch you anywhere? Nope. Okay, then I, I think, I, think I, I like the cash. Please. Okay, sucker. Well, oh, 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 hold on, why sucker? Why sucker though, why do you say that? Because that's more scooters for me. What, so, wait, I'm sorry, that's the only catch? Is that there's more scooters for you, the guy who has the word scooter on his shirt? Yeah. That's the only downside for me. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just take this. It, oh, like a piano is not gonna like fall on my head when I leave, right? Like. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go call my wife. Okay. Oh. Honey, 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 yeah, no, get out of bed right now. Honey, honey, get, get down here right now. I, I don't, I, I know it's cold. Put on the sweater. I don't care. Just don't come down here right now. I, 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 why? This guy, this maniac, is handing out forty thousand dollars in cash. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I don't, I, I, I didn't ask. I just took the money. Why are we still talking? Why are you not in the car coming down here right now? I don't care. Hurry. What? I'm not cheating on you. What? Why would you say that? What are you talking about? Just, Come to shut up! Hang up! Come down here right now! Take up this money! Karen, I just need you to go take the man's money before he changes his mind. Boyney, will you calmly explain what is going on? <sighs> okay, Karen. Right now, I'm a little bit mad because you took the time to put on your eyeshadow and your nice dress at 11 o'clock at night to go take money from a stranger. But Boyney, I wanted to make a good impression on the nice rich man. I don't have to make a good impression, Karen. He's just handing his money away. Boyney, what am I supposed to do? Okay, okay. You're going to go up there and then you're going to tell the man you want a scooter. But before you take the scooter, he's going to offer you something so much better and you're going to take that money, okay? Boyney, I don't feel right taking money from a man. What, what, what are you talking about? I feel great about it. I just did it a minute ago. You should take it. Boyney, I would never cheat on you for no amount of money whatsoever. 
No, 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 see, I thought the same thing, but no, there's nothing fishy going on. He'll just give you the money for free. Okay, okay, wait, go, 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 no, 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 shut up. She doesn't know what she's saying, okay? Just hold on, hold on one second. What are you doing? You're gonna take the money. Buddy, I feel guilty taking money for that poor boy. No, 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 it's a Karen. See, you don't have to feel guilty. There's something wrong with him, and we're gonna exploit that, okay? So you go over there and you take that money. But Buddy, he's just a kid. I don't know. We already got $40,000. Why do we need $80,000? Because it's $80,000, Karen. This is the kind of money you don't say no to. Just go take the money. Okay, let me do it. Let me do it. Give me my space. Let me do it. Just take let me do it. Did I hear somebody say free scooters? Yeah, get your free scooter. All right, I'll take a scooter. But wait, do you want a free scooter or $40,000 cash? Wait, what, $40,000? Yeah, or a free scooter. What kind of question is that? I think I'll take the $40,000. Okay, sucker, more scooters for me. What, really? Are the scooters made of gold or something? No, just more scooters for me. Okay, uh, thanks. I think I'll sleep pretty good at night with the money. Free scooters! Ho, ho, ho! Santa Claus, what are you doing here? It's only March. Yeah, I know, but I was just flying down from the North Pole and I realized I didn't have any scooters for all the boys and girls this year. Well, take as much as you want. I will, thank you. Uh, aren't you gonna offer me something else? Uh, well, take two scooters! No, uh, okay, 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 how about this? Uh, yeah, actually, my elves are on a union strike right now, and, and they say I'm not paying them enough, and they're not gonna make any more toys unless I give them exactly $40,000. Well, that sucks! Y yeah, it does, so that would be... Why are you not giving me $40,000 anymore? Because I don't have any, I'm broke. What, you're broke, but you just offered my wife money. I didn't see Mrs. Claus. But not the, you know what, fine, I'm taking a scooter. Well, I just gave away a bunch of scooters. That's really nice of you, Scooter. Where's Mercedes at, with her hot little butt thing? Um, she took the rest of your money and ran off. That's okay, I guess she went to buy her something nice. Yeah, she left a note. Oh. My. God. This Peter guy just got broken up with. Sucks for him. Yep, sucks for Peter. Houston, we're ready for liftoff. Five, four. Jeff, you play with that somewhere else. Three, two, one. <laughs> Jeff, you're being loud. We have successful liftoff. We are now en route to Uranus. Well, it's, 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 Jeffy, stop trying to shove that in my butt. We always going to Uranus. Well, Uranus is closed. Fly somewhere else. All right, Houston, change your plans. We're now going towards a black hole. <laughs> Jeffy, stop trying to shove that in my butt. We always going towards a black hole. Oh, man, we lost another one, Daddy. <sighs> Hold on, there's someone at the door. Hello. Hey, Marvin, I want you to meet my dog, Prince Charles. Lord. Guess how much I paid for? How much? Two million dollars. Two million dollars for a dog? Yeah, because he's a woolly Tuscan long-haired schnauzer. He's a cross between a woolly mammoth and a shih tzu. See, what they did was, they found a fossilized testicle of a woolly mammoth, and they stuck it in the vagine of a shih tzu, and out came him. He's a one of a kind. There's no other dog like him. Well, why'd you bring him here? Well, because I'm entering him into a dog contest tomorrow, Marvin. And tonight, I'm having a chocolate eating party at my mansion. And obviously, dogs can't have chocolate, so I don't want to run the risk. So I'm dropping him off here. Well, no, you're not dropping off here. I don't, I don't want the responsibility of your $2 million dog. Well, I have no other choice, Marvin. Listen, look, if you watch him for me tonight and he enters the dog show tomorrow and wins, I'll give you $50,000. Wait, wait, you'll give me $50,000 if I watch your dog for a night? Yes, but keep in mind, he's very high maintenance. He only eats Japanese A5 Wagyu beef flown in from Japan. If he eats anything else, I'll shit all over your house. Uh... I mean, uh... Is that a yes? Yeah, sure, I'll do it. All right, great. Here, go ahead, Prince Charles. Oh, wait, he's so heavy. Yeah, he's part woolly mammoth, Marvin. Keep that in mind. Uh, come on, Prince Charles. <gasps> Marvin, you found a dog? No, it's Goodman's dog. He wants me to watch him. Aw, well, what's his name? My name is Prince Charles, but... You can talk? Of course I can talk. I'm rich, but... Hey, Marvin, I almost forgot to bring you his chew toys. There's one of them right there. Oh, is this like a squeaky toy? 
No, that's a real $10,000. You let your dog chew on money? Yeah, he's teething. I also have his gold bar right here that helps sharpen his teeth. Wait, you let your dog chew on money and gold? Yeah, because that's what he wants to do. <laughs> Ew, it smells so poor in here. I agree, Prince Charles. You'll be home in the morning. Marvin, you don't know anything about watching a dog. Who is this witch? Oh, this is my wife, Rose. Mm, you poor, poor thing and bun. Oh, look, look, baby, he's paying me a lot of money to watch his dog. Hand me my chew toy, peasant. Okay, look, we're going to be respectful in this house. <laughs> Prince Charles! He spit in my face! Hand me my chew toy, peasant. Uh, here. <laughs> hey, Daddy! Oh, no! What do you want, Jeffy? I found this moldy chicken nugget behind your refrigerator. Can I eat it? No, Jeffy. Oh, no! Spit it out! Spit it! Spit it out! <laughs> Yummy. Oh, no! What's wrong, Marvin? It's just a chicken nugget. Goodman said he could only eat A5 Wagyu beef from Japan. That's ridiculous, Marvin. It's a dog. It can eat anything. Uh-oh. I have to take a dookie. Peasant, carry me outside. Come on, Jeffy. Let's lift him up. What? Why do you have to carry him. I'm too rich to walk. Oh, come on, Jeff. <laughs> okay, Prince Charles, hurry up and take a dump. I only poop on Bermuda grass. This is St. Augustine Bar. Well, this is the only grass we have. Just hurry up and take a dump. Well, it's hard to focus when I don't have my mountainside view. Well, look, we don't have any mountains around us. All we have is this. Just hurry up. Well, I guess I'll try. <laughs> hey, Danny, look, he's pooping. I know, it's gross. I'm gonna have to clean it up. Hey, you. Wait, is that money? It is. I only poop cold, hard cash. You poop money? Jeffy, I think I like this dog. I think it's like, I like this dog a lot. Uh, do you have to use the bathroom anymore? I'm done. Now carry me home, Bark. Okay. All right, Jeffy, get the dog. All right. Yeah. Baby, you won't believe it. What's wrong, Marvin? The dog poops cash. What? Yeah, literally, this cash came out of his butt. Marvin, there's no way that he poops cash. He does, so I made him this big plate of food so he can eat it up and we can print money. <laughs> Marvin, you can't do that. You can't use a dog for money. It's the circle of life, baby. He eats food, he poops money. It makes sense. I don't know about this, Marvin. Come on, Prince Charles. Bon appetit. Ooh, no, thank you. What, what, what do you mean, no thank you? What do I look like to you, a French bulldog? <laughs> but, but you ate the other chicken nugget. That's because it was green, like the color of money. Well, I, I can I can paint this green. No. Well, 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 come on, just eat it. I'm full, no. Prince Charles, you're going to eat this food right now. Oh, my God, he bit me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I think he broke my hand. Oh, my God. We need to get you to a hospital. Let's take me to a hospital. Uh, uh, Jeffy, uh, watch the dog. Shit's crazy out here. Who are you? supposed to be. My name's Jeffy. Here, play with your toy. Ho, ho, ho. Scooter Claw's in the house. Hey, Scooter, what are you doing? Well, well, well. Someone got a puppy dog. Ruh, 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 ruh. That's what a puppy dog says. Oh, my God. What breed are you? Wowie, wowie. Well, we, look at all this money. You can buy a lot of yo-yos with that money. I want a yo-yo. What is this thing? Wait a minute. Does this dog talk? Yes, yeah, Scooter, that dog can talk. Someone better call the news. This poor thing needs a haircut. I do not need a haircut. Well, how many fingers am I holding up? Four. Poor thing can't even see. Time to give him a haircut. Oh, what you doing when you cut his hair, Scooter? Go! You are not going to give me a haircut. Hmm. Oh, still, damn it. Hmm. And done. Uh, now you look all pretty pretty. Yeah, he does. What have you done to me? My beautiful hair. How am I going to win the dog show now, boy? Now you look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Time to put a red nose on you. Don't you dare. I'll hold him down. Come here, little fella. <laughs> but wait, you look at that. He looks just like Rudolph. I'm living in hell. Come on, Rudolph. Let's go to the North Pole. You're so heavy. Get out, fat boy. See you guys later. Say hi to Santa Claus for me. Jeffy, we're home. Jeffy, why is there fur all over the couch? Scooter gave Prince Charles a haircut. A haircut? Oh, no, 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 no. Where's Prince Charles? Where is he? He and Scooter are on the way to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Jeffy, don't you screw with me. Where's Prince Charles? I just told you he and Scooter are on the way to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Oh, no. No way this is my life. No way this happened to me. I can't believe we lost that dog. Marvin, calm down. We have $20,000 and a gold bar on the sofa. We'll be fine. No, we will not be fine. Goodman needed that dog for a show tomorrow. For the International Exotic Dog Competition? You've heard of it? Yes, Marvin. The winner gets $5 million. $5 million? He was only going to give me $50,000. Well, look, we lost Goodman's dog, and now he's going to kill me. Marvin, I have a plan. What? We can take all the money and run away to Hawaii. He'll never find us there. He will find me there. He has a tracker in my ass until I pay off the house. 
Okay, look, we just gotta find a dog to put into the competition tomorrow. Marvin, you can't find a dog by tomorrow. Well, yeah, yes, we will. Um, uh, ooh, Jeffy, do you still have your dog? Yeah, booby butt. Yeah, go grab your dog. All right. Okay, I got an idea. Here you go, Daddy. Oh, booby butt. That dog right there, that dog's gonna win the competition. Marvin, there's no way that dog is gonna win the International Exotic Dog Competition. Sure he can. He's paralyzed from the neck down. Well, they don't need to know that. He can't even walk, Marvin. Well, Prince Charles couldn't walk. We had to carry him everywhere, so they won't know it when we're carrying him around. Look, 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 look. All we have to do is just tape all this fur onto him. Tape? Or staple it. I mean, he's paralyzed. He won't be able to feel it. Look, look, look. I promise once we get all this fur onto him, you won't even know it's not the, the, the rare dog that Goodman had. Marvin, this isn't going to work. I need it to work. All right, so everyone grab some tape and some glue and some staples. Okay, let, let, let's get to work. And done. Doesn't he look just like Prince Charles? He looks terrible, Marvin. Well, no, he doesn't. He looks just like the other dog. He had all this fur. Maybe if the other dog went through a wood chipper. You're just being mean. He looks just like the other dog. I don't want to be a part of this. You're being a quitter. What do you think, Jeffy? Yep. What, what do you think about the dog? I think he looks like a cat's hairball. And he sounds like one, too. No, Jeffy. He looks just like Prince Charles. <laughs> Someone's at the door. You have fun with that, Daddy. Well, okay, stay right here, uh, Prince Charles. Uh, hello? Well, Goodman, what are you doing here? Bad news, Marvin. The chocolate party got canceled. It got canceled? Why? Turns out I don't like chocolate, so I came here to pick up my dog. Well, but, 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 pick up your dog? You're not supposed to pick him up till tomorrow. You should come back tomorrow because me and the dog were having so much fun. I know he's great, isn't he? He shits cash. I noticed, so you should just come back tomorrow. What happened to your arm? Uh, Did you get carpal tunnel from beating your wiener too much? Uh, I've no, been there. No, I, I fell down the stairs. Mm. But, but anyway, uh, yeah, just come back tomorrow and you can get your dog. No, it's okay. I understand that your arm hurts. I'll go upstairs and get him. Well, no, 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 no. All right, here's your dog. You think I'm stupid, don't you? What? No, this is Prince Charles. Look, 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 say your name. Say I'm Prince Charles. <laughs> Did he have a stroke? Uh, 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 no, he's just sleeping. He's having a bad dream. Where's Prince Charles at? He's right here. That is not Prince Charles. Where's my Prince Charles? Uh, okay, look, he's on his way to the North Pole to see Santa. Well, tell Santa Claus he owes me $2 million. Well, look, 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 listen, look, uh, your dog bit me in the hand, and then I left him alone with Jeffy, and then Jeffy shaved him, and they thought he was a reindeer. I don't know why I keep trusting you with things. I don't know why either. I told you I did not want this responsibility, so it's kind of your fault for trusting me. I can't show up to the International Exotic Dog Competition with this, this thing. Well, you're just going to have to find another dog. Hmm, I got an idea. Why are you looking at me like that? Welcome to the International Exotic Dog Competition. Our first contestant is Toodles, the Black Bear Poodle. He's a mix between a black bear and an actual poodle. <laughs> Yeah, and our next contestant is... Uh, Say it. Uh, bark, bark, bark. Oh my god, what kind of animal is this, sir? It's a shithead who likes to lose people's dogs. 